I'm Jim Norton, and I'm on the radio. It's Jimmy Day, a celebration honoring one of the world's most attractive. My mule looks fantastic. Thoughtful. You have the timing of a stroke on Christmas Eve. Insightful. Whatever, I'm just a zilch and I know it. Awe-inspiring people. I hope the last thing you hear before you drunk drive into a wall is my stupid voice. Jim Norton. Just shut up. <laughs> on the Opie and Anthony Show. Opie and Anthony, bad boy radio host. Opie and Anthony. Great Jim Norton's birthday. Oh my birthday! This is ridiculous. Happy birthday, Jimmy, from all of us at the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> you heard it too, huh, Jimmy? The celebrity birthday wishes really dropped off. <laughs> right. uh, we went from Ozzy to Steve. Ozzy to Steve. <laughs> from all of us. From all of us here at the Opium Anthony Show. Happy we like birthday. to wish Jimmy Norton a happy birthday. Wow, that's terrific. I got a story about Norton, how funny he is. Like, it's not as. Everybody wants to hear sex stories, but when we were at Woodstock 94, it was a oh, bunch wow. of comics. Uh,. And there was all these outhouses, so uh, all the people were getting off the bus, and we were we had stew, stew for dinner that night, and Jimmy takes a plate of stew, and he has half a foot in the outhouse and half out as he's eating his stew, going, this stuff isn't that bad. And oh. Mike, Mike, Michael DeNester was a comedian at the time, was standing there with his pants down and his ass. Oh, God. <laughs> and I was eating Damn. stew, and it was stupid hippie girls. That is so disgusting. Yeah, it actually worked, though. As cheesy as it sounded, it actually worked. It was so funny. Nobody thought stew. <laughs> <laughs> There's a photo of me doing that. I'll bring it in. Yeah. A big lark for all of us. Yeah. Hey, uh, Rich Voss in studio. Lark. <laughs> Let me give Rich the big plug. Tomorrow night, Rich, Trump Marina in Atlantic City. Yes. All right, right. TrumpMarina.com for tickets. There you go. And we got Louis C.K. joining the program. I was just talking to Louis in the office. Uh, he warmed up for Ricky Gervais last week, I guess that was. And, Monday, uh, yeah. Monday. At the uh, the Wamu Theater here in New York mm -hmm. City. And Wamu. The F and Louis just killed. Oh, just thank killed, you, man. Getting thank massive you. laughs throughout the, uh, the theater. I hadn't opened for somebody cold for a long time. I hadn't done that for years. But yeah. People actually still getting beer and still sitting down. Oh, right, yeah. Which is weird. But they weird. focused pretty quickly. It was good. Uh, and I love the behind-the-scenes stuff. Louis goes, uh... I, I I got to the theater 30 seconds before I went on stage. Yeah, I had my uh, kids over and uh, and I I had a babysitter, but it you know she can't get them to sleep till like 10 o'clock. I get them to sleep at seven, so I was trying to put my kid to sleep and she's you know crying. Hey, I miss mommy, you know all this crap, and uh, the uh, the babysitter was there and I'm trying to get her to go to sleep. And then the guy, I thought the show was eight. The guy called me at 7.10 and said, we're getting a little nervous because oh, the show's in 20 minutes. Oh, wow. <laughs> so I told oh. my daughter, sorry, you just forget it. And she was on crying as I ran out the door. <laughs> and I ran to get a cab. I couldn't get a cab. Got to the theater and literally went like from her bed to the stage. Just out of breath and going, oh, oh yeah, uh, 550, 500 people, Madison Square Garden <laughs> Theater. <laughs> Biggest crowd I've ever played for in my life. And you're late. I mean, no, actually, that's not true. On the virus tour, yeah, well, yeah, you oh, yeah. better give us props yeah. for that, there, Louis. Yeah, you yeah. Sure. more than that. <laughs> yeah, no, twelve about twelve thousand in uh, it Jersey. Was, it was twelve thousand last year. Easy, yes. easy, yeah. And we're doing it again August second. Eight PNC. beach balls too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know that's a little distracting when they're th you know <laughs> <laughs> punching beach balls around as you're trying <laughs> to tell jokes. They are beach balls. <laughs> oh, oh. so no how would he have you oh. open? Like, you're so, who would want to follow you? Like, I mean. Just like Ooh. such a killer. Oh, thank you, Rich. Well, I I made a movie with Ricky, and he asked me if I wanted to do it, and uh, I I only did ten minutes. I think originally he had me doing oh. twenty five, but ten minutes, you know, you can okay. follow anybody doing ten minutes. I think. Right. Why right. the only? It's but. funny because Ricky Ricky actually I thought it was cool. Gave him an intro from backstage. Yeah. And he goes, "Ah, oh, this guy's my favorite." Comedian right now working on the circuit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm you know, just gonna come out and do like a ten minute set for you. I like the fact that he he, he might have been worried going on. He's funny, but you know, I mean, you're like a, a real headliner. He might have been a little nervous going on after twenty five minutes of your nonsense. Well, I, yeah, I was. I mean, I'm not not to it, even just dynamic wise. I'm a pretty. Uh, I go and get the. I'm I'm dirty and I curse. I and I I'm, I'm pretty uh, uh, desperate trying to kill every second guy. And he sort of tells long stories. Yeah. So when he asked me, I actually said. 
you know, it might not be a good idea. And he said, no, I love it. So and, I, uh, and Louis C.K. obviously is a headliner, and they had you perform in front of the curtain, like you had yeah. four feet of stage. Yeah, it was humbling. Oh. So I don't think Ricky Gervais was nervous because he knew that the, that it curtain was, was going to open, and it was just going to be. Like, and Kong would be behind it. Yeah, Basically, exactly. that's what it was. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. Kong. You had, no, and, and you also, had Louis just with a curtain, and then the the curtain opens, and there's. Ten foot letters that spell out Ricky and fireworks and <laughs> Literally a fireworks. light show. He oh, comes out in a in a in like a, a king outfit, king rope with a his king crown. Rope, sure, yeah, oh. no, and it was. I, it's been years since I've been in that situation of like the guy, the guy with the headsets, right before I go and go, take the mic stand with you when you leave. Yeah, like selling it mean, you meanly. And, yeah, and, yeah, of course, they're always mean. Yeah, <laughs> don't step on that. Don't touch the mic stand. Don't touch the mic. Yeah. Just go out there, say it, get off. Yeah. Don't step on that. All right. Yes. Shut up, you, you, you're a roadie. No, they they treated me like I was making the exit announcements for safety before the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but I didn't have, I wasn't billed like I, I agreed to do it. I, I didn't get paid for it. I just did it as a favor to him. Yeah, yeah. And didn't they didn't bill me or anything. They had already sold out the show, so it didn't matter. We had to go out before STP recently, and these douches give us microphones that are used for the background vocals. And we're supposed to talk to the crowd with these background vocal uh, microphones. Jesus. So no one's hearing us or mm. nothing. Buried in echo. We're just, yeah, completely buried. It's like, thanks. You couldn't give us, a, you know, the real mic for, for 30 seconds. I, I remember playing in bands where uh, you'd, be, you'd open for another band that would have this huge stage show. And you'd have to set up the drums and, and all the amps. On yeah, three feet of the front right. of the stage. Right. Because God forbid you you know you know you over uh, you overshow them or something. It's just so annoying. No, it's awful. Come on. Club soda you candy. Yes. Can, can I tell a, a cute little story? It's kind of oh. related in honor of Jim's birthday. Sure. Of course. When I used to work for another comedian, Jim's first yeah, huh? show. You could say dice, my God. I know, you're so fresh. <laughs> We're for, like the other network. <laughs> it was, it was right. you know, it, it was like a big gig for me. I think it was like a 3,000 uh, a seat theater. Houston. Yeah, and um, I used to set up the stool for dice with like towels and water and everything, like an ashtray, cigarettes, like perfectly. And I told Jim, you're going to go out there with a the water? Yeah, he's going out with a water. I go... Don't put your water on the stool, and if you forget your water on stage, on the stool, when you come off stage, just keep walking. And that, and that's what he heard. That was his little pep talk Jeez. before he went out, like, to do a big show. Nice. I'm so glad Jimmy has become a big star and now can get, you know, get you back for all that crap yeah. you, get, <laughs> you get put him, him through back in the day. He does everything for me. If he, if he dies, I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Why would it be a problem if he, a little Jimmy put his water bottle on a on a stool? No, nah, I, I I was beholden to a certain guy. Now I'm beholden to Jimmy. But no, I'd sit on the water <laughs> bottle. It would hurt. Yeah, they said in Nuremberg, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a uh, special guest calling the Opie and Anthony show for oh, Jim Norton's oh. birthday. I wonder who this could be. I have no idea who this is. Hello. Uh, happy birthday, Jim Norton. Oh, I know who Thank that is. You. This is Jim Florentine. This is Mr. Florentine? It's yeah. Mr. Mr. Order, Mr. Order Mr. Order Mr. Quivers. <laughs> oh, hey, what's up, Florentine? <laughs> How you doing, man? Who would have thought Jim Norton would have lasted to 40 years old? I know. I it's know. really depressing, man. I remember your 40th. We were at that, uh, you had Sabra Cadabra playing at your 40th birthday party at an Elks Lodge in Jersey. It was great, man. Yeah, pure white trash. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, and, Vo and Voss booked us there. What? Oh, yeah. I did? Rich Voss there? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on? Hey, one thing about Rich, man. He was the one who helped me and Jim out in the beginning, man, coming into New York City and stuff with gigs because they wanted nothing to do with us in New York. I know. We were just such... That's right. We, we came in from Jersey, and I was here first, but we were such pigs. We were taking, like, the club bookers and all the waitresses in the back rooms, and we were taking everybody's spots and stuff. But how funny is it, dude? Everywhere you'd go, there was a bad report about Voss. <laughs> It was never, oh, God, he was terrific last week. It was, are you friends with him? <laughs> I always. I, I, yeah, I go into a club. They're like, yeah, some asshole was, uh, some, some jerk was here last week, and, uh, you know, we can't, you can't do this, you can't do that. I'm like, who was the comic? Like, I don't want to say. I'm like, was it Rich Boss? They're like, how'd you know? <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> he, he really is a tool. How was uh, Afghanistan, man? You just went over, right? 
But yeah, it was great, man. We uh we had a blast over there. We we actually got the base the base we did a show I got mortar fired like twenty minutes after the show. We had to go hide in a we had to go hide in a bunker for an hour. That's how they applaud over there. Yeah. <laughs> Lob mortars in <laughs> I forget that Afghanistan has stuff going because the tell was here. That's right. I forgot you were there with Dave. I forgot Afghanistan has like a lot of uh, heat going on. It's not just Iraq. Yeah. Well, it's got more fatalities now, right? I think Does it? more uh, people are dying in Afghanistan than Iraq. Yeah, it's a hot spot. That's stupid yeah. Taliban's making what? a little comeback. Thing. That's right. Seems they're number one yeah, now. The month, yeah. The yeah, the month of June. The month of June was the word, the first month that there was more deaths in Afghanistan and Iraq, and that's the month we could go to pick over there. You know what I mean? I know you should just went to a base in Germany or Japan. Had a nice easy time, you know, maybe you hoard after or something. Yeah, that would have been nice, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah. yeah, we uh yeah, it was it was crazy, man. Um but it was great, man. It was better than, you know, doing a you know, doing a firehouse in Jersey like how we did for years. How many comics were there? Like four or five of you guys it went? Was me, it was me, me, Tell, um Nick DiPaolo and Artie Lang. Wow. That is so That's a strong Jesus. lineup, man. Jim, I forgot to ask you too. I'm glad you're on the phone. Uh August uh, 9th, we do our show August second, August ninth. Are you going to uh, see Motorhead and uh, Heaven and Hell and Priest? Um, I'm trying to. I got a gig at the Stress Factor that weekend, but I'm trying to get go to go there. Yeah, you got to come to the. Yeah, come on, tell Vinny to just you know. You got, yeah, you got to go see Motorhead, right? So what are you going to do? You know, go see Motorhead or pull in twenty grand? Hey, hey, Jim, well, <laughs> hey Florentine, you got a you got a, a story about Jimmy for his birthday? Twenty grand? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm kidding. I know. This uh. Yeah, Jim, like, when Jim first started, I don't know if he still does this, like, if we had a gig, like, four or five towns over, and it's in the, it's in the wintertime, he would call, like, the local police department, because he was worried if the, if the roads were icy. <laughs> <laughs> so he'd be calling, he goes, look, it's, uh, uh, I'm, I'm a comic, I'm doing a show, and they're like, I'm, we're busy here, what? He's like, you know, is, is, are the roads icy? Cause is it over 32 degrees? I did call about black ice. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, God. The guy, oh, you with a hooker. Didn't. the guy was with a hooker, you know, for like seven bucks and three cigarettes like an hour before that, and the guy's worried about black ice. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I had a Mustang at the time, which was rear-wheel drive, and I did call the police department to ask, like, how's your road conditions? Oh, well, they must have been like, what? <laughs> Shut up. Just drive. Yeah, we, used to, we used to do gigs like we go to Connecticut. He would only put like seven bucks in his car at a time and gas. <laughs> Why? I don't know. We'd stop every friggin' hour. It's like I gotta pee, and we want to. I gotta get gas again. I'm like, just friggin' fill the damn tank up, <laughs> Jimmy. It, was it was it you or Norton that put all that stuff on the the ticket at the toll booth? Oh, boogers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Florentine. <laughs> yeah, we, me and my buddy went from, like, exit 1 to 16, and we just picked our nose the whole way and put boogers all over the back of the toll ticket. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to hand it to the guy, and the guy jumped back, like, what is on that ticket? I'm like, I don't know. I was, just, I was eating a steak sandwich before. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, one of my, my favorite quarantine things, and you haven't, Jim, you haven't been on in a while, the uh, stopping to ask at toll booths if they have coffee or if they're doing anything for tired motors. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, one time I got this black lady at the uh, Lincoln Tunnel. I go, yeah, uh, I'm on the list. <laughs> he's like what are you saying i'm on the list my friend he works for the port authority said I, i'm on the list he's like oh, you ain't on no list i'm like no did you, did you just check <laughs> the list. And you check oh that is great we used to go to those booths in philly outside of philly mm -hmm. where we uh Pay girls just to watch us do things. Did you go with me and Florentine? It was me, you, and Florentine one and night? Levy, yeah. And Levy. Uh, and we were watching. Was you, you weren't there. Well, you go into the booth and you. This was years ago. And you do things, and, and Florentine's in the booth, and all of a sudden you hear, mop. <laughs> mop. <laughs> mop to booth two. <laughs> mop. It was, it was really bad in there because there was a lot of people in there before me. One time I had a. I was in there for so long, I just left my sneakers in there. <laughs> <laughs> I was stuck. You need a whole mop for that? <laughs> a mop in a bucket? A yeah, all of a sudden, like, yeah, one okay time, for me. Yeah, one time, like, the bell went off. I like, thought I won a prize. Like, mop, the guy's running over. <laughs> <laughs> I remember uh, with Florentine, I've had the, the best gasser stories. How great was it? Me and Jim, we both upgraded to first. Where were we going to L.A. when I had just those putrid yeah. gassers for the entire flight? Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, the, the witches, the stewardesses wouldn't even come by. They're using their spray. I was, you know, and we're the only two, 
dirt bags in first class. Everybody's in business suits and wearing like shorts and black Sabbath t-shirts. <laughs> but but it was just like I was dropping so many gassers, and Jim had walked into the bathroom just to wash his hands. They thought it was him. Uh, oh, perfect. So they're actually spritzing outside the bathroom door, and uh, the, the the one lady walked through and actually stopped and then spritzed in the aisle where we were sitting because she like knew something was going on. So we were just holding the newspapers and shaking and laughing <laughs> behind the newspaper. Two adults just farting and laughing. <laughs> Didn't they say they were going to stop the pl land the plane? That was Florentine. Yeah, me and a couple of my buddies were farting on one of them like uh, one forty five planes with like fifty seats, and it was so bad. The woman goes, "Look." The stewardess comes up. She goes, look, if you guys do that one more time, we're landing the plane. Oh. Wow. Wow, that's got to be a now bad that part. Would, that would be a funny story to read in the paper, though, yeah. <laughs> as to why they had to uh, land the plane. Sure. How great would it be if you are on the no-fly list because you were cutting gas? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great way to make the news. I come off a plane in handcuffs like this guy <laughs> was passing gas, and they didn't know what if it was Al-Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I miss seeing you, man. I, I really hope you can go see Sabbath. I've, I've been thinking of you. I've been meaning to call you. So, uh, and Jim, Jim did uh, Down and Dirty. You, you were great, dude. So, uh, you know, I really hope you can go see Sabbath, man. No, absolutely, man. It's like you know, and me and Jim used to live together too for like five years, four or five years. I lived at home till Florentine got my first paid gig in comedy, and then uh, back in 1990, and then uh, I got out of my parents' house when I was 30. And I moved in with Jim. There was three of us there. It was me, him, and his girlfriend, uh, Alina, at the time. And uh, 300 bucks a piece. And right. we did uh, a Cribs episode with... Uh, That's right. That was in that... <laughs> with your place, with Jim Florentine. With the yeah, mold? That was the, yeah, that place is awful. But it was like five minutes from New York City, so it worked perfect for us. But didn't after we moved out, after we eventually... We, we, we split up, and Jim and his girl got a place, and I, and I moved into New York. Did, didn't they be, make that, like, Section 8 housing? I don't know. I didn't hear that. Probably. Yeah, I heard they were going to Section 8 housing or the landlord. What were some of the problems with the place again? I forgot. It's been so long. There was mold and... There was... Yeah, there was mold all over the walls. It was... I mean, the place is just disgusting. <laughs> we had... Um, what are those bugs we had? Silverfish? Silverfish. <laughs> we had silverfish. Silverfish. <laughs> Dude, I counted like seven of them on my wall. What the hell is a silverfish? Oh, they're those Oh, they're the most, they're the ho most horrible. That's really... Silverfish means you're... Your life is horrible. Yeah. What, yeah, what? it means you're living in a, a real crap hole. They look like uh, the push-me-pull-you bug. The front looks just like the back. They got these antenna. Yeah. They're they're silver-colored, and they're almost like an earwig type of bug. Oh, God. I, I, I was in Norton's place. It's horrid. That place where you lived there when I was there it had a smell of urine. I mean, you're chested or your be or your bedroom. <laughs> just, well, yeah, just... whenever Mole would just come on the wall, we just put like an Aussie poster over. We didn't even care. <laughs> he he had at one point <laughs> tin foil on his bedroom walls to cover the mold. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. <Is> Gibson? <laughs> he couldn't even get good decorations. It was just tin foil was like living in a potato. <laughs> we're we're gonna link this video to onaradio.com, but the old that. cribs episode we did with Jimmy and. And oh, they just man. showed a wall that was just completely covered with black mold. Can I see that? Uh, from the, your place. Yeah, walking up those steps. Oh, my God. kill man. you. Hey, Jim, where mold. are you working this weekend? I'm in down in uh, Wildwood, New Jersey, like 40 minutes south of Atlantic City. Yeah. What are you doing, uh, Vito's gig? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Club Casbah, man. We, mm -hmm. we, we came up there. Uh, we, we used to go down there for a week. I used to do two weeks a year there. I would get 400 bucks one week. And what was it? Three fifty the other week. He'd give you fifty less uh, the second week. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I'm a big and fan he, of Wildwood. Yeah, that's a he's great the one. Place. The club owner's the one who, who made Jim wear those like uh, weightlifting pants. He has pictures of those where he used to wear those baggy. Oh my God! The pants purple. on stage every night. He wore those things. Yeah, the right, grimace. How pants. did he make you wear pants? He just got me into. It. He goes, they're so comfortable. And he, his name is Mark Vito. He's yeah. a good dude, but he would uh -huh. tell the worst jokes. He would. The, the <laughs> club owner would MC, and he would just go out and tell. Awful jokes like anybody from Philly. Yeah, a couple oh. of cheese steakers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, because those are popular there. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Get it? <laughs> you get garbage. it? Hey, Florentine, we got a, a screen cap of the mold on the wall. It looks oh like God. someone had explosive, you know what, and just hit the oh. wall. It looks like someone and spray painted <laughs> the wall. They. It looks like yeah. Like uh, like black paint, as you said, yeah. like spray paint. It's, it's just amazing. Oh that is a lot God. of mold. Yeah, that's how we lived. It was, uh, and this was I was thirty years old, by thirty one or thirty two by that point, and I was on the radio and I had TV credits. Really? Yeah. yeah. And you were living in that. Look at that mold. Look, at, and you guys just put a uh, some kind of uh, a poster up over the mold that could kill you. <laughs> yeah, I know. We didn't even think about that. It probably took like twenty years off our life. Yeah, we just yeah. throw something up. Yeah. I go to like a friggin' flea market and buy a picture. I'm like, all right, this will cover this spot. <laughs> <You> cover the <laughs> mold. Oh, oh, God. oh God. Yeah, the, the storage we had in the, in, the, in the living room with the my chest set. and then What a crap hole you guys lived in. <laughs> wow. Uh. I'm stunned.
Yeah, we got to take a break, but we're going to put this video up on uh, ONA Radio. Oh, yeah, dude, today. it would leak, too. The rain would leak. We had caved in All the tiles. tiles. Look at the old ceiling tiles are coming down. All right, dude, it was good hearing from you, Jim. I, I hope to see you soon, man. Yeah, and the one thing, like, me and Jim, like, whenever it was our birthday or Christmas, we never get each other gifts, you know what I mean? Like, we weren't going to get a stupid sweater. Oh. Instead, what we do is we leave each other bowel movements in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this house on Paper Street? <laughs> I, I'd wake up in the morning all hungover, like nine in the morning. I'd, I'd lift a lid and I'd see like one the size of a yam in there. <laughs> <laughs> a little note: Happy birthday! Oh yeah, floaters ruled. Yeah, <laughs> nothing better than a good floater. Nice. Uh, all right, buddy. We'll I'll talk we, to you later, man. We'll see you soon, man. All right, man. Happy right. birthday. Thanks, buddy. Good Jim Florentine, everyone. See you, Jim. Uh, Louis C.K. in studio, Rich Voss in studio, Jim Norton's birthday. We got Basil T's doing the omelets. You, you get an omelet yet there, I Louis? I did. It was good. There you go. Good. Basil T's, Hooper <laughs> Avenue, and Tom's River. We'll continue. It's Jimmy Day in honor of the happiest boy at school. Die! Jim Norton. It's the Opie and Anthony Show. Happy birthday to you! It's Jim Norton's birthday. Oh, it's my birthday. On the Opie and Anthony Show. I feel like a douche in this hat. We're back with uh, Jim Norton's birthday here on the Opie and Anthony Show. Uh, the excitement is just out of control at this point. Oh, yeah. Just amazing. Steve wishing Jimmy a happy birthday again. <laughs> wow. Rich yes. Boston Studio playing Atlantic City tomorrow night. Yes. What is it again? Trump Marina. Thank you. Uh, TrumpMarina.com for tickets. Co-headlining. Co-headlining with who? Uh, Alonzo Bowden. Alonzo Bowden. Oh, from uh, Last Comic Standing. Yes. I was just saying that yesterday, I think, I can't watch that show It's anymore. unwatchable. It really, really is. It's unwa I watched it's it last night. There's a funny, there's one or two funny guys on it. Uh, Sean, this guy, Sean, something from Canada. Very funny guy. Uh... I just hate that they have to cast the comedians. That's what's driving me nuts. They have to have one of every category for this dumb show. It's like, just get 15, 20 funny people. I don't care if it's a prop act or some Asian bra that's going to talk about her Asian family. Just and throw them in there. But don't calculate. Need the gay comedian. Need the prop comic. We need the Dane Cook type comic. It's, it's, ugh. The worst thing is that when you do shows on the road, people, uh, people come up to you and go, uh, you know, hey, maybe someday you could get on Last Comic Standing. <laughs> <laughs> like, they really think you know, I'm a guy who's just dying to get on that. The people don't come. understand that the uh, real comedians don't want to be on the show. No. Why is that, by the way? Because uh, to yeah. me, it seems like it would be great exposure. Maybe, maybe not for someone like well, Louis no, C.K., but other comedians think, yeah, out that's there. Not true. That's not true. Real. There is ah, a lot. Of, no, no. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone like Louis ah, doesn't have up, to do stupid. it. No, like no. Louis. But a young comedian no. coming up, it's a good no. thing to do. But it's also years good. Ago. I'm not even. I'm no, not even, like, even now, crashing you. I'm just saying. No, but even it's now, it's gotten to the point where well, it's, it's real, real, real comedians do not want to do this show. You're 100 percent wrong. The first year or two, that there was a few that said this could be good for me, but now it's like. No, they're I'll, avoiding it at all costs. At, at <laughs> real, real comedians try out for the show. They don't use them because they're too good. No, that's actually that's true. The truth. There's it's, a lot of really funny comics. There's a lot of comics. guys that don't make it. So the ones that do decide. This year, and right. the year before, who I yeah. know, where I was like, wow, you're doing it. And I had uh, Arge Barker. Guy, yeah. The guy's really funny, and he's a huge star in he's Europe. He's big. And stuff. He sells yeah. out. And he told me he was doing it. I'm like, really? And he goes, look, if I get through, it's great exposure. Yeah. And I said, you should do it. And uh, I saw the set. He did, came to Caroline's when I was there once, and he tried out the set. He was, he was, it was really funny. And they flushed him out. He wasn't in it. Yeah, you know? it's, it's it, there's great comics that try, but they don't want. They want. They don't I want don't him. know. I don't know what it is. It, it's it's a, it is a casting thing. Yeah. They they want good looking. They want. It's amazing what they look for, as opposed to just a bunch of comedians who are going to beat each other up and just <laughs> yeah. sit around trashing each other. Yeah. This is what comics do. Right. Like that seller vibe. Yeah. Everybody just beating each other up and being yeah. scum. That's what we do. That's, that's fun. That's and you, you never hear him on the show during interviews trashing the next guy like you say. It's always I have to win this. This is the best thing. No, it's not a commercial within itself of the show. Be real. Hey, who do but, you grow up listening to? Who do you like? But the problem you know, is, it's marketed wrong because yeah. like the viewers think that they're trying yeah. to find the funniest yeah. person in America, and there's guys way funnier than the people that are on the show. That's the point I'm trying to yeah. make, I guess. Well, that's yeah. true. And, no, and the great show viewers was... like, wow, these are the top comics in. No, they're not. It's no. not even the funniest person. Most of them are the just theater. coming up guys trying to get uh, exposure. Yeah. And the, the seasoned uh, pros, they're they're avoiding the show, or if they do try out. 
uh, they're not uh, what they're okay. looking for for the no. show. Well, whatever. So that's tomorrow night. You'll be at Trump Marina. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. We got somebody else uh, calling in for Jim Norton's birthday. Is it a celebrity? Uh, oh. So far, star-studded. Voss, Louie, and Florentine. Yes. We basically had any Thursday at the cellar. <laughs> 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 Who do we got on the phone? Hello. Is, is little Jimmy there? Hi, what's oh. up, Bob? Hey, this is Bob Levy. <laughs> yes. Happy birthday, little fella. Thanks, buddy. How you doing, man? Doing pretty good, man. Wow, I haven't talked to Bobby in quite a while. Hey, we talk here and there, man. Yeah, but I mean, it's like I, it's amazing. Like I, I saw Bob because Bob drinks a lot, and, <laughs> <laughs> and I love Levy. He's Levy was one of the guys that helped me when I was coming up, and and Bobby would like always have a guy who was sober drive him because he didn't drink. He would he would go out and drink and want a guy who's sober to drive home. So that's Smart, a tremendous amount of. You uh, must have done the the best gigs back then. I had so many. How many gigs have we done together, man? I mean, for years we yeah. were together. Well, we, they wouldn't let us in Canada. You remember that night? Oh. Why they saw your act there too? <laughs> we oh, got bosses there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course. <laughs> you tell by the silence after. Right. Yeah, I was wondering why. I, I the phone cut off. <laughs> uh, we went to Canada one time, me and Jimmy, and it's like sneaking through Germany. It's so tough when you don't have working papers. So we go there, and they go, "How long are you here for?" And Jimmy says, two weeks." And, and he goes, how much money you got on? He goes, $50. He goes, no, you're here for two weeks and you got $50? And, and they asked me if I ever worked in Canada. I go, no. And they go, what about this place? And I go, oh, that was Canada? <laughs> that <laughs> was his... Let us in Canada. So we went to Buffalo and got a hooker and snuck in the next day. Oh, he's completely right. We got... Wow. Uh, Oh my God, he's right. We had that. That was his response. They pulled us into an office. Yeah. Because they we had fifty dollars and they thought like, are you emigrating to Canada? What are you doing? They were smuggling something. So they searched the car. Mm -hmm. We're waiting in the office, and that was Bob's. He, was, Bob's a brilliant improv on stage. As far as he's so fast on his feet, it, it, it's amazing. Much guy, like myself, yes, <laughs> but it's amazing a guy can be in a blackout and think as quickly <laughs> as Levy can. But Wait, why? Why fifty dollars uh, to go to Canada? I had no money. That's all his mother I understand gave him. that uh, you guys weren't making a lot of money, but you would think you would save up a little bit to, to no, go but to Canada. Get cash that night, dude. Just get some cash <laughs> okay. that night. And Bobby, that was his response. They go, uh, well, how about, because he had gone like a week in Canada before. They're like, yeah. like I've never been to Canada. And they're like, well, how about here, here, and here? And he goes, oh, yeah, that was Canada. Oh, <laughs> God. He forgot he was in another country. It's the worst lie I've ever heard told. Well, you got to talk about the the, the uh, hooker in Buffalo. I mean, I don't, so then you go to Buffalo. She couldn't have been a looker. Didn't one of us do a guest spot uh, or something hooker. at uh, at that comics cafe or something like that? Yeah, at, at Bepco's Club or something like that. And then we snuck in the next day like nothing happened again. Yeah, we wound up going. They would have arrested us if they knew we went in. We actually went in for about two weeks. But the best fun. story, Jim, that you left out of your book was, remember that big snowstorm in 94? I do. That was 94. That was 14 years ago? It was about 14 years ago. Jeez. And that was during my first divorce. I had these two <laughs> That's how we tied things with Levy, the weather conditions and what marriage he was on. <laughs> we had these two girls. Let's say they were 18, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. was, the, the streets are closed. Nobody's allowed on the road. The police say anybody on the road will be arrested. Yeah, it was I that go, bad. Jim, you got to come over. I got two girls here. We can bang them, right? Three hours later, there's a knock on my door. It's Jim standing there with this big grin on his face with a brown bag with a thing of spaghetti in it going, Hey, man, I thought you guys might be hungry. <laughs> my father, I begged my father to drive me. That's right. The road conditions were so bad. Yeah. It was mandated by the police that you don't drive. It was like one of those storms where it's just, it's, it's almost a state of emergency. And I had my father drive me. I, how many miles to your house? It's probably 15 miles. It was 15 miles. It took about three hours. Your father was such a trooper to bring you there. Yeah, because I think he knew what a, what a zero. He probably thought I was gay. I'm like, Dad, there's a girl there. He's like, get in the car. Four. <laughs> get in the car. <laughs> I'll get you there. Yeah, but the funny thing was is that he was he was banging her in the bathroom, and he had one foot in the litter box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I forgot Bob and those stupid cats. <laughs> it was dark. Yeah, I did. I, I was stepping in the litter box, and I was, oh, I was banging what was probably a five and a half but because she was 18 and willing um, you know she was a nine as far as I was concerned I forgot about that dude and then we tried to switch on them and they got really mad so I went outside and dug their car out the next day to get them out of there they well, were so annoying they were 18 all they wanted to do is take a bath the whole time the one well the one who slept with, <laughs> well, look who they slept with uh, <laughs> the one who was annoyed was the one I think who slept with Bob because I think mine would have switched off uh, I think she just kind of you know hooked up with me just because I was there 
and her and friend you, was getting laid. And you brought the food. Yeah, that's right. I did bring food. <laughs> oh, that's the, okay, so I was cooking in the back because no one could, you, you couldn't leave the house. Yeah. You weren't allowed to go out. All the stores were closed. I think I brought spaghetti from my house. And Bob made us spaghetti. It was like a big family thing. Your mom made the spaghetti. Your dad drove you over there. They were so happy. The kid they thought was a fruit was going to have some fun. <laughs> Bring a dish. <laughs> Bring a dish for the boys. Son, call me after the rape. I'll come pick you up. <laughs> uh, yeah, my dad had to come back in his topaz the next day and pick me up. <laughs> and dad, smell my fingers. High five. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those are the days. So, dude, uh, when am I going to see you again? Uh, soon, man. We gotta hang out in the city one day, definitely. Yeah, I would like that. I miss seeing you. It's amazing you talk to guys you haven't talked to. I mean, I talk to Bob not regularly, but more than uh, you would think, considering we never see each other. So. Yes. We gotta do a gig together, man. We gotta all do a gig together. I, I know Bob Levy because he was on my. I did this talent show on Comedy Central. Oh yeah. And he played a Jew wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted. To what? I did this show on Comedy Central as a pilot that didn't go, but they yeah. did air it. And it was called the Filthy Stupid Talent Show, and it was like a talent show, but everybody was a fake. We would just make him up. Yeah. So he played a guy who comes down. I go, "What's your talent?" He goes, "I'm a, I'm a Jew wrestler." <laughs> yeah, I go, Is there any Jews in the audience? <laughs> yeah, no, I wrestled Jews. So we had a, a plant. It was actually Sam Cedar, this guy who does radio yeah. now. Yeah. And Sam comes on, and I go, are you Jewish? And he goes, yeah, and he's really unassuming. And they, we choreographed this great wrestling, uh -huh. and uh, he ends up slamming Bob and beating him. <laughs> and uh, but at the end, Bob goes, that, that guy was no Jew. <laughs> <laughs> What he was he was great. Though. I didn't know who he was. I asked around. Does anybody know somebody who's funny? I think who Judah can kind of wrestle you about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah Judah Friedlander uh, turned me on to. Yeah, I he was remember. perfect. The Bob was perfect. It was great. Yeah, Bob's an animal. Hey, dude, are you fighting Bonaduce? Yes. You know what? I actually am. When uh, I'm donating all the money that I make to uh, to Jim's girlfriend's uh, <laughs> uh, thing, she's got she's got some kind of thing in Africa. So I want them to build a school. Wait, uh, oh, Florentine, are you serious or no? Yeah, I swear to God, I'm donating the money there, and they're going to build a school with my name on it, but it'll be spelled wrong. So well, they should, and, hey, Bob, uh, if they're fighting about a douche, they should build a morgue with your name on it. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to kill him, Jimmy. Wait, but, wait a but, second. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, because uh, it, it's a pretty good story that was never hasn't been told on our show. you gotta you got to explain the Bonaduce thing there, Bob. Well, I, I ended up smacking him uh, in the face because I... Actually, I wasn't drinking. I'm not drinking anymore, Jim. Can you believe this? I'm happy, man. Good. I'm on pills now, so that's bad. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so now I'm on Lexapro, and I was on Xanax at the time, and I didn't have him with me, and I just like was talking to him, and I was just kind of like freaking out, and I just, he was being a douche, and I just smacked him, and I got attacked by like him and three bo got, bodyguards threw me against the wall. Wow. And I was like, hey, this isn't too cool. <laughs> so it, from there it went to uh it would be a, a charity thing and then we would give the money to uh whatever I donate he'll donate to uh Robin's uh African tribe thing that she's uh collecting money for so It's funny I I forgot dude I saw, I've been having lunch with Colin a lot last week I think I had lunch with him 3 days after the show I was just mm -hmm. seeing Colin every day and he goes I'm seeing Levy uh, cause, you know, cause Colin can box, and Colin, yeah. uh, you know, he, he, he's, he's been boxing for a long time. He doesn't look like it, but he, he can, he can go. And, uh, so Bobby, who's in see, did you guys work out in the gym, boxing in the gym or something? Yeah, I've been doing that. I've been, uh, running and everything. It's amazing. Jim, it's the new me. I don't drink. I, there was every reason to drink last night. My audience, two people in the audience rolled up in those roller chairs, you know, those, those scooters last night. Oh boy. And I'm like, this is, there's every reason for me to go back on drugs and drink. But I'm not gonna. Well, wait, wait, when's this fight? Uh, is it just boxing or is it just? It's just gonna be boxing. Boy, they, those guys pounced on you. Yeah, I'm you're... watching the clip right now. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, I swear to God, I'm training. I am gonna knock them out. I swear to God. Wow, well, it's gonna be great. I got like retard strength, man. I'll take it. <laughs> Bob is a strong dude. I mean, uh, uh, but I, I, Colin was saying. He goes, uh, he was concerned for you because we're eating lunch. And he goes, yeah, but I've been talking to Levy about fighting Bonaduce, who's a black belt. And I said, well, Bob, are you boxing? Are you kickboxing? He goes, I'm on a treadmill. <laughs> oh, right wait a minute, but what like kind of, what's the fight? Step. Is it a boxing match? Yes, yes. He's a black belt? Bonaduce? Yeah, but, Bonaduce? Like that, yeah, but that's not going to help him. That's not going to help him in a boxing that's match. Not gonna, I'm, 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 almost, I'm like six inches bigger than him. I no, mean, you he has no reach on me. It's, a, it, it's like picking and rip. Rich Voss out of a crib, please. <laughs> I mean, I'm not worried about it. Believe no, it's I all going to be. I knock him out. I guarantee, I'm, I'm guaranteeing it. 
He's well, going down. No, Bonaduce is a multi-degree black belt, but what will help him is, is that he's, he's been working out for many, many it's years. Got to, it's all conditioning with boxing. Yeah. If you can last out the other guy conditioning, you'll be okay. Well, that's what I've been doing. I've been running. I've been uh, walking, swimming, working out with weights, punching bags. <laughs> I, Bob, don't ready. do it. Bob, when are you fighting? <laughs> hurt. In September. I guarantee I knock him out. I'm telling you guys, he's going down. Well, oh, He's guaranteeing a knockout. Dude, can you do this on a Sunday no night? Way. Where are you fighting? Because I, I really will. I will go see. I don't even I want to go see my that. friend get his teeth knocked out. You got to come down because we're going to do a show in like uh, Atlantic City on the twelfth, and then not with him, but and then the thirteenth it'll be somewhere. It might be at the Tropicana. The th what day is the thirteenth? It's a Saturday, so uh, look, yeah. you'll be off. We're, we're going to put the uh, video up on onaradio.com, You and Bonaduce there. So yeah, he's a douchebag. But what are you going to do? Hey man, you got guts fighting him. I'll tell you that much. I mean, of course, I'm I'm rooting. I'm I'm rooting for you just to make it through because he's a bit of a psychopath. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he beat Vanilla Ice, didn't he? He did. Did she? Yeah. I think he was punched. One of the, this was one of the first celebrity boxing. Yeah, and he beat him really bad. Yeah. He punched. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, who's that? A uh, man cow in the face. Yeah, he oh, knocked him out. Good for yeah. him. Yeah, he knocked no. him out. Yeah. Hey, listen, I've been married twice. I will kill this man three <laughs> times now. Oh, so you your third marriage? I just got married three weeks ago. Get out of here. Oh, I swear to God. I, I, I'm you got the hat times. trick. Why didn't you tell anybody? Why? I'm not like boss that has a goddamn reception every two weeks. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, no, no, here we go again. Here we go again. Yep. He goes, I got here a reception. Go you, want to, you want to come to the 8 o'clock or 1030? <laughs> Thank you, Bob. <laughs> this comes up all the time on the show. Thank you, to Bob Levy. Terrible. And then he gets mad at all his friends. Like, we thought you were just doing sets. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry we didn't show up. Where, what what firehouse did you guys go to on your honeymoon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're going to start. You ain't going to get me on the phone, boss. <laughs> well, dude, Congratulations. I, can I, have okay. I met her or no? Uh, this girl is the best. I'm telling you, she doesn't drink. She doesn't do drugs. I mean, that's why I'm, I'm basically clean, you know? 20 years without a drink or drug in my body. 22, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I, I talk to Colin a lot, and work with him a little bit now and uh like he's a good help you know that mumbled mouth bastard but <laughs> i mean when you can understand him he does give you a good advice <laughs> so colin it's colin? working out well colin yeah, yeah colin's a good yeah colin. colin did you hear what bob levy just said about you yeah i love oh, is he there yeah he called me a mumble mouth you really want me to add in and go now wait a second <laughs> <Mumble mouth. laughs> I love him. So, Kyle, he he came in to uh to box you. Was he was he conditioned? He's in top shape. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I didn't flow right into this mediocre conversation. I thought it was your stupid birthday bash. It is. Well, then don't get me into bubbly these boxing have big boxing conversation right now. Well, we segued in. I was just curious. The last time I saw you, you said that he was going to come and you were going to yeah. see what he had because you said he was going to do the trip. I had to go see Mother that day. Anyway. Yeah. He oh, canceled our date. Oh, really? All right. Damn it. Ooh. Well, I, I want to wish Jimmy a happy all. birthday. I love you, Jimmy. Thanks, Bobby. Of course. And I will see you guys all soon. And, uh,. Enjoy your birthday. Thanks, buddy. I'm right. seeing you, man. Bob Levy, everyone. See you, all right, man. Take care, Bob. Bob. I don't know, man. Wow. Oh. Bonaduce. <laughs> Bonaduce. Listen yeah. to me. Oh. It's going to wow. cream him. So what's up, Kyle? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what's wrong, Colin? Nothing. I'm just calling up. I'm trying to get into the vibe of the conversation, but I'm not doing too good. <laughs> you guys think as hosts, or I think as the uh, guest of the birthday party. How about yeah. all of us? We'll when, all take a hit on this one. We mutually yeah. suck. Colin, it's not my fault. Are you close to the station? Why don't you come by and say hi? Oh, no, no, I'm way far away from. Why don't you jump out of your apartment and come by? We have no, some. Oh, no, I'm nowhere near there. Kyle, we have some uh, people, the guys making egg omelets, and we also have some delicious oh. birthday cake. This yeah. is good food here. Yeah, it's no, delicious. I'll leave you some jokes, though, if you want, for your, uh, your work this weekend. Okay. Some birthday jokes. I'll give you some free jokes. That's what we do. Give each other stuff. That is what we do on a birthday. You call up and give your friend like a doggy bag of birthday jokes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll give you one. Ready? Sure. See Brangelina's kids. I guess they got bored by just being called Mr. and Mrs. Smith after all. Ah, it's not bad. It's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah. I didn't even understand that. Neither did I? Because Mr. and Mrs. Smith was a movie. Right. And the kids would kind of have it, like, because they're married now, and they really are a Mr. and Mrs. Smith. We mean, don't get, how do you not get that? Why are they a Miss, 
Who is a Mr. and Mrs. I don't understand. Oh, look at Jamie Lynn Spears' new baby. I mean, she's only 15. He's just rolling out of the loud. next one. Wait, what, what was the next one? I didn't get yeah, the next one. I don't want to miss the next one. Yeah. Look at Jamie Lynn Spears, she's only 15. She's got a baby, and the kid looks like Brittany with a shaved head. <laughs> <laughs> so you and Bob are right together? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. At least we're trying. <laughs> 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 So we're gonna. We don't just look out in the audience for five minutes. For the show. So, so why don't we? Uh, are we going to lunch together today? What is it? Yeah, I didn't yeah, know what's happening with this big uh, extravaganza. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's obviously it's, it's it's a bash. I mean, we all understand that it's, mm -hmm. it's crazy in here. I mean, not only are you, <laughs> not only are you on we the phone. We all understand that. Yeah, we got you on the <laughs> phone. We've had Louie. We got Bobby Levy, Florentine. I mean, it's you know, it's, it's boss, of course. Action packed. We got bosses. Get crazy man. I have a Batman mask, and Voss is going to be doing some uh, Heath Ledger Joker lines. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that after the break, there, Voss? We got a little acting thing going on, Kyle. A little, uh, a little yeah. back and forth. I'm going to wear my Batman mask, and and Voss is going to do the Joker lines. I didn't know if I, I don't. You guys are living it up, boys. Uh, Billy Bassett. You guys are having a ball over there. Yeah, mess up my party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Colin, we got to take a break there. Come in if you want. Yeah, come on in. Hey, what are you doing? We know you're close. Come on. Come on. Be gay. What? It's already been miserable for me. No one has. Be gay. Just come in. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gay? Yeah, I'll be gay. Oh, that's it. Now I am coming. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. Colin Quinn might be joining the show after the break. Can I give this out? Because I was I was trying to update it during the while I was in the toilet and I forgot to 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 hit send, so I didn't update. I was going to give a birthday update. If you want to contact me, I will hear your messages and I do respond to some of them. Uh, nine one seven two six seven two six zero two. That is actually a cell number. I can hear the messages from. And I can respond back to you. I don't with everyone. Mm -hmm. like and that info's up on onaradio.com. Oh, thanks. Yeah, okay, we cool. made it easy for yeah, you. Yes, for real. Jimmy. You're not going to be charged anything except whatever your cell phone company charges you. All right. Let's take a quick break. We'll continue. It's Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton, of course, Rich Voss, and, of course, Louis C.K. as well. Oh. Very, very busy to D. Hi, I'm Brian Wilson. How are you? I'm fine. Happy Jimmy Day to little Jimmy the Joke Man Motley. I... I invented Monster Rain. Tell him, Fred. <laughs> Jim Norton's birthday. My birthday, short foreign person. It's the Opie and Anthony show. I thank you guys for acknowledging my birthday. It's very nice about it. Of course. It's a well, big birthday show. Young Opie is uh Taking me out later for a nice dinner. Nice. No way. It certainly is. Wow. Nice. Good boy. Little steak dinner. Actually, and you were invited, but uh, you haven't called anyone back yet. Yeah. And what? Ooh. When was I invited? Bit. Why I? Penny was uh, was Aunt invited to the big steak yes. dinner tonight? Yes. I was. That's nah, all right. I'm. Uh, you know, I don't know what I'm doing any given moment. You know how it is. Wild. I have a story. Ooh. I have a story about Jimmy. You do? Yeah. We got Louis C.K. in studio. Yes. <laughs> Why don't we play with our noisemakers? <laughs> Rich, let's play with our... What does this one do? Oof. This one don't work. <laughs> That's sad. Uh, Louis got a story. Yeah. All right. Stop when blowing that, Rich. We're, Jim's um, got a story first. I, I had that yes, in my go ahead. crack. <laughs> oh, good. He, <laughs> he actually, uh, dur yeah, during the spot, <laughs> <laughs> no. he shoved the mouthpiece of <laughs> yeah, of Rich Voss's noisemaker right, no, he did. right against his, yeah, he did. He yeah. put it right down the crack. <laughs> And just rubbed and rubbed and rubbed. And you you got to assume look, that everything in this room is If you don't believe us, there. look at Kenny. Kenny is dying. He's loving this. What happened, you, Kenny? You were set up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say, I, I, I got to tell Boss the truth. Here's a vomit. I didn't, I didn't put, I just, it was just. It's just cheek. in the crack. Okay, no, just in his sweaty crack. I guess crack. my cheek, really. Yeah, he didn't shove it in his, you know. No. Oh. But, uh, yeah, you know. like Jim would otherwise go, hey, Rich, let's make fun with some noisemakers. No, because like, I, he would have any reason to do that except for yeah. that. I couldn't yeah, do well, it, Joe. It's been in, I in couldn't his do it for real. area. To, you know. So, Lou, you got a story about Jimmy. <laughs> All right. All right, sir. <laughs> Festive. We were <laughs> working on uh, Lucky Louie. Uh, there was a writer on the show. 
who lived in Venice, California, and a friend of hers started a uh, just got her license to be a masseuse mm-hmm. of physical therapy, whatever you know, like a real legitimate, you know, really mm-hmm. studied. And so she opened a place, and it was very medical looking, and had a name like Therapeutic Center for Massage, you know. <laughs> and so this guy comes, a client, <laughs> and uh, he's getting a massage, and he starts going, "So, uh, anything else that could happen here?" <laughs> oh my and, God. She, and she knows what he's. She's she's hip. She goes, oh, "No." Sorry. And he goes, well, I'm just saying maybe a little something else. And he, he was kind of pushing, and she's going, no, nothing else is going to happen here. And he kind of kept, and then she, she noticed his jacket draped over the chair, said uh, Lucky Louie on it. And she said, oh, a friend of mine uh, writes for that show. Uh, and he told, turned pale immediately and went, i I, I got to go now. Uh, <laughs> nobody has to know about this, do they? I, here's the thing. I was totally... Mixed. I've never told Jim that I knew this story. I, oh, she told God, me, she that's told me funny. the story, and, yeah. and I think I'm the only person she told. Here's why she told him that story, I'll bet you, because I think... <laughs> I didn't meet the woman. The writer who yeah. worked on the show was her friend. There was a weird vibe to that moment. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. But there were possibilities. I think there were. It was her yeah. and another girl. Yes, and, that's um, right. She said there's two, two girls, them. and they let me be naked. They let me be undraped, and they... Uh, undraped. What does that mean? Undraped. No, think I've, of draped, and but not. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm I think also they were new. It, it was a, a new business. Naked? It was, was that... You on a table naked? Yeah. That's what undraped means. I yeah. think it was Jimmy a new, new business, so they, probably there was something, a turn-on for you, that they were, like, new at it, and it was yes. something she, undefined about the place. And when she recognized me, because on the phone it was kind of dicey. I didn't yeah. know exactly, but it wasn't a definite no, how I would not right. have driven that far. <laughs> I, was, I was so embarrassed. I was totally naked. And I had to tangle, so I had to get up and just walk naked while the two girls sat. Uh-huh. But I think one left the room for a while. Uh-huh. Probably the writer's friend. So I'm going to leave the room. She'll massage you for a little bit. Something would have happened there. Yeah. But I think she only told you. So if I went and told you, you would go, oh, yeah, I heard that story. It was legitimate. You, right. That was called a preemptive strike in case I had a big mouth. I, I think you're right. That's great. Of course it was. I think you're right. That's, that's, that's pretty funny, though. I didn't have a girlfriend yeah. back then. Not that that would have stopped. No, me. I knew that you, yeah, I figured you wouldn't mind. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, we were lucky to talk to Christian Bale. What? Batman, yeah. Danny talked to Christian Bale. Oh. He talked to Christian Bale like they talked to Christian Bale on TV. Yeah. Oh, wow. Danny sat down with Christian Bale. Nice uh, interview. Oh. Yeah. Sure. We got the interview here, Danny. Sure do. How was it meeting Christian Bale? He's actually a real nice guy in person. He comes off like he can come off a little intimidating. Yeah. But uh, I didn't find that to be the case once you meet him uh, in person. Yeah, this Dark Knight's going to be huge. We saw it already, Louis. Is it good? Amazing. Yeah. Oh. Heath, Heath Ledger was so good. <laughs> Ledger. <laughs> it's his movie. Yeah. Heath Ledger. He's yeah. the Joker. He's like really funny. It must be funny if he's a Joker. Yeah. I love jokes. I prefer the Riddler. <laughs> I don't like riddles because they make me anxious that I'm not going to know the answers. Yeah. I've heard a lot of jokes pressure. They're funny, yeah. You, you feel like you're laughing at a joke. I just like having my leg pulled. That's why I like jokes. <laughs> I like well, it. don't go to the masseuse he went to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all you'll get pulled. <laughs> Come on, guys. Oh. Crazy. <laughs> so Danny sat down with Christian Bale, and this is how it went. Hey, this is Danny from the Opie and Anthony Show. Recently, I had the opportunity to sit down with Christian Bale to talk about his role as Batman in the upcoming Hollywood blockbuster, The Dark Knight. Where do we begin? Tell me a little bit about Batman in this film. You know, this is a more mature Bruce Wayne. This is a Batman who absolutely is still warring with himself, but it's somebody who has come to have power and is now dealing with the burden of responsibility of that power. Was it hard remembering how to play him? No, I mean, I have a very definite mast of who, who, who Batman is now, you know, more so than ever. I've seen now what I have to become to stop men like him. How about the Batman voice? Any trouble with that? Fly riding a bike with that. It, you know, the first one, yeah, I have to really kind of practice it, but by the second time, I just went back and just have it straight away. Well, the reason I ask is that Jim Norton thinks it sounds a bit like Clint Eastwood. What do you think? I think, first of all, anybody who's saying that should just shut up, you know? I mean, they have no idea. It's arrogant. It's ridiculous. Can you do the voice for us? I'm Batman. Just one more time. I'm Batman. Wow, it's great. But it does sound a bit like Eastwood. What do you think? No. Thanks for taking the time to talk about the new film. Thank you. And here we go. Batman, The Dark Knight, opens nationwide July 18th. Um, so, yeah, things got a little tense there towards the end. Yeah, I see that. There. The, uh, the acting is so good. 
It's I thought you were in the room. In the dark night, I agree. Mm -hmm. No, no, I thought you were in the room with Christian Bale, the way you asked those questions. Well, I thought, he was, in, I thought hey. he was in the room with us. That's how good the acting was. <laughs> yeah. I thought he, that Jane organic. was actually here. All right, Christian Bale. Afterwards, yeah. afterwards, you know, he, you know, he respected my journalism oh, skills for asking the unorthodox questions. Ah, okay. Uh, it's the perfect delivery for the bit, is what I'm thinking. Yeah, it, it really is. And were you commenting on the sing-songy delivery? <laughs> yes. So could yes. you do the Batman voice? <laughs> yes. A way that he well, never Christian would have Bale. spoken well, to see, him. I, wanted, no. I didn't want no. to take Christian out of his element, so I wanted to interview him in the style that he's he was so accustomed to on television. And in other radio interviews. <laughs> Jimmy thinks you sound like Clint Eastwood. Let me do that one again. <laughs> Danny's, Danny's voice was so up and down. He sounded like different audio spliced together as one person. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy thinks you sound like a speaking spell. <laughs> speaking of acting, we got some Heath Ledger Joker clips for uh, Rich Voss. Are we got dialogue. Where's the scripts? Here's I hand you the scripts uh, live on the uh, the show here, Rich. I don't... Rich one uh, uh, Rich is such a good actor. He said, "You know what? I want to read this cold. I don't need to practice. Well, I can I sound don't... just as good as Heath Ledger as the Joker." Was that him at the end when he goes, "Here now we yeah. go. Here oh. now we go." God, he was goddamn good, man. Mm. Yes. Mm. Oh, I wish I had my he glasses. He took the character we all knew and loved and just made it different, Lou. And then he died from pills. He certainly did have mm. another. Let's uh, Let's, I don't want to. <laughs> what was Louis who, copy? Who who's gonna be who's gonna person. be person? I'll be person. Yeah, Jimmy will be person. person. It's his birthday. He's got to be person. And where's your glasses? I well, I don't care. When I didn't know I was, you know, he, just, he goes like this to read. He, oh, he, he puts the paper way out here. Well, because I can't. I wish they would have made much bigger font for this. All right, it's pretty big font. No, well, I can't see the first. We'll start start at no, no. You can't see that. It's, it's, How about this? Can we get a bigger font? Bigger font. Wow. Yeah, much bigger. bigger. Font. Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? Well, the oh, hell? I'm sorry that... Shut up. You're going to lose this one. You're going to... Your career's over. This is just normal font. What if you get a real job and you go, I can't... This font's too small. Right. I'll have And they go, let's get somebody me. else. Then I'll say... Well, Did you okay, drive in bye. today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You drove in today. I can see not... When you get older, <laughs> what when, you get older when you get older, he's going to explain okay. my opa, whatever it is now. <laughs> All right. it's I could see perfectly fine. I could see if you put something on the wall over there, I could see it and read it. All right. It. We'll put the script over there That's on the wall. Said. There you go. Shut up. I just, it's just, I need something bigger. This I, is you know. normal print. What is wrong with you? I'm 51. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's wrong with me. Wow. Okay. So now we got to wait for the big font. Right. But I had a colonoscopy again last week. Again, why? Mm. No, I mean because I had an upper endoscopy and then a colonoscopy and mm. everything. Stop fine. saying words that you just learned. He, he loves he the, fact the fact that, that he knows that word. Yes, yeah, so upper I, endoscopy. I, Whoa, look at you! What? That's not a big deal. Yep. Those brain cells are working for you today. I, you know, All right, we could go another direction. It's up to Jimmy because it's his uh, um, birthday. We could do the. Uh, we got a nice porn story, or we got a uh, woman. That wrote a book on how to train men. Now, train? I say we Doesn't that happen every 20 years or so? Yeah. Some woman writes a book about how men are dogs and you train them like dogs. Want to yeah. give this a try? I think so. All there right. was a Doris Day movie about it even. Ugh, yeah, some some trying to be empowered woman. Uh, uh, you know, just, you know, make him bark and he'll beg. Shut up. <laughs> make him bark and he'll Whatever. beg. <laughs> Dummy say. Shut up. All right, here we well, go. The woman who wrote the book on how to train your husband. Now, right, here's a story a lot of people are going to be talking about, and you want to hear about Ooh, this yeah. because we're talking about clothes, for example, dumped on the floor, dishes piled high in the mm. sink. Some people Sounds say like enough guy. to make. <laughs> what was that noise? Terry uh, <laughs> uh, Shivo <laughs> came out straight out of between her legs. <laughs> uh, that thing makes noises. <laughs> She sounded like something hairy being ridden in Star Wars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hear her noise For example, again? dumped on the floor, dishes piled high in the sink. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. What is that? How fat is her fat throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Idiot. Non-man loser. <laughs> yeah. well, Terry Shivo. Dishes piled high in the sink. Some people say it. 
That is a horrid sound. Uh, example dumped on the floor, dishes piled high in the sink. Some people say. <laughs> I can't get enough of that. I think we could play it another five times. Oh, yeah, that's just that's funny. Fantastic. Just the sound of a walnut brain going out through a throat. <laughs> talking about clothes, for example, dumped on the floor, dishes piled high in the sink. Some people say it. Like oh, does it sound like a guy? Stupid. <laughs> does it? Does it really? Oh God, that is a horrid sound. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> All right, here's a story a lot of people are going to be talking about. Let's try to get through it. want to hear about this because we're talking about clothes, for example, dumped on the floor, dishes piled high in the sink. <laughs> Some people Just say like enough guy. to make... Just like a guy. Woman, uh, any wife scream at her husband. But a controversial new book says there may just be a way to teach old oh, husbands yeah. new tricks. Let's hear this. Fox's Jan Jeffcoat. Check this one out. Did she now? Oh, Did she check that out? Yeah. Here's one for the ladies. Yeah, <laughs> girls. Oh, we bleed every month. <laughs> we don't like dirt. <laughs> We're going to show you how to train those men. Oh, those here dirty men. And the guys all go like this, and the women go like that. Yeah. Uh, death to all of them. <laughs> An old husband, new tricks. Oh, God. Yeah. How terrible Eight. is she at her job? Ugh. Let's uh, let's meet She's the author. Terrible at existing. <laughs> Here's the author. I hate her. If God created man, he didn't create perfect husbands, and now women are demanding better behavior from their better half by getting romance recommendations from this woman, Amy Sutherland, author of What Shamu <laughs> Taught Me About Life, Love, and Marriage. I think of that it, sounds like a fun book. Yeah, doesn't it? What what taught Shamu? me about Shamu? Shamu. Shamu. I don't get Shamu. Is a killer whale. So why I quit. Maybe she saw oh. Shamu, the killer whale, and learned from him. Yeah. What Shamu? Oh, oh yeah. Well, God. We got to get this author on the show. By the way, right. that's what we should have done. Because this reminds me of a book that I I, I once read, uh, yeah. where the woman was inspired by Orca. It was uh, how not to stick your leg in the killer whale's mouth, biatch. <laughs> Long way to go. <laughs> boo. It's your birthday, boo. though. No nah, booze for Jimmy. Today. I deserve a boo. Nope, 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 not on your birthday. Wait, wait, that woman, that woman wants to chime in again. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds just like her. <laughs> sounds like a guy. <laughs> uh, just yeah. like a guy. Oh, those men. Oh. oh. I think of it as communication. After spending time with you some think? of the best animal trainers in the world, she decided to start thinking like them and use the same techniques to teach dolphins to do this. To teach her husband, Scott, to be a better spouse. It's just dawned on me if it worked You know what? You write a book like this about chicks. Sun, well, we're animals oh, my God. Too. And then you're oh, equating a girl with an animal, yeah. and it's yeah. a mm. horrid, horrid thing. Oh. And also, women can't be trained because they stink. Yeah, they stink. <laughs> You imagine doing on the news, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this is a. I was an animal trainer, so um, I figured I know how uh, to uh, train women. So I'm going to use the same techniques. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to smack her on the nose of the newspaper and <laughs> shove her face in her feces, yeah. so I'm she doesn't put, do that again. I'm going to put peanut butter in my crotch. <laughs> Keep her in her in a crate, so when she pees, she has to live with it. Right. Uh, you got to. This technique is going to just oh. uh, drive mm. a bunch of why guys would crazy. Some, uh, hold on a second. Mm. Hello. Oh, why are you calling during the show? Thank you. I'm on the radio. Who's, Who's that, that, Jimmy? Who is that? Wow. Who is that? Someone who was immediately who is hung that? up on. Who is that? Well, who is that? Who is that? Who is that? Friend Jimmy? Betty. Was it? Betty. Betty. Friend named Betty. Me, you, you got a Betty. Friend named Betty. What, yeah. are you, uh, what, do, you girl, what do you girls do together? <laughs> <laughs> you and Betty. Me, you, Betsy. Oh, I'm on oh. the radio. Betty. <laughs> Betty. You have a friend named Betty. Yeah. Uh, How old uh, is she? Eighty-two. Does she, have nice <laughs> pearls? Does she have big pearls like a necklace with large pearls? Like yeah. you will well, later. <laughs> <laughs> Get it better. Uh, yeah. Here's a technique uh, that this lady wants you to use on on your husband. Sutherland says the first step: stop nagging. Because I realize one, that's punishment, and two, it's also something that a trainer would never do: is that trainers don't keep doing the same thing over and over and over. Instead, use what animal trainers call the least reinforcing scenario. The least reinforcing factor is a new way of animal training. It basically focuses on constantly rewarding the positive. 
So if your spouse cooks you dinner, you can reward him with a treat like these seals are getting, or you can reward them with a hug. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. like a There's the only yeah, treat. Yeah, a trout. Just smells, smells the same. It pays to be quiet, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the idea is if there's no reaction, the bad behavior will stop. Oh my! Yeah, we're but we're so this, simple-minded. It's so badly done. Yeah, it's starting with the whale, first of all. Yeah, it's just not an animal you think about training. Right. Like, oh yeah, like a whale. You know, train. When you think of training, you think of whales. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> <laughs> not, I know. Then she segues into fleas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stupid <yeah>. bitch. <laughs> oh. He does everything she says now, but he scrapes his butt across the floor to itch it. <laughs> I train my husband like a dog, except instead of fetching the paper, he blackens my eye like Jake LaMotta. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, female marriage counselor is not uh, into this at all. Evanston marriage mm. counselor Victoria Baum looks at Sutherland's theory as a malicious marriage manipulation. I wouldn't want a couple or a member of a couple to read this book, especially a woman, and think she's going to train her husband. She also adds the least reinforcing scenario is a scenario for disaster. The idea of positive reinforcement is wonderful, but to ignore the negative means that you're holding in and you're not getting your needs and your wants either communicated or met. And maybe that's the way the husband should treat the wife when she gets fat or when they get that stupid mullet <laughs> or when they start wearing jeans and tucking in their shirt and losing their sex appeal and not wanting to blah, 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 before sleep. Yeah. How about that? Shut up. So irritating. Sutherland, however, maintains this is a different way of communicating. She noticed immediate results in her relationship. What I found is that it saved us a tremendous amount of wear and tear. Plus, she says anyone Ew, can use these techniques to improve relationships with friends, family, or even co-workers. Even with myself, how I've used these ideas to sort of, you know, uh, change behaviors in myself that have been entrenched for a long time. But there is one thing she still hasn't mastered. You know, it'd be great if he'd sit and stay, but that's beyond. Oh, the... <laughs> really, you didn't stay. Boy, that. They really brought it home with that. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Just listening to her voice, what who would want to marry organization? that girl, oh. that woman? What news organization is that? That's the worst Fox. edited piece. Yeah. First, let let's interview her in traffic. <laughs> So everybody can listen to buses going by. <laughs> <laughs> like she's an author. You couldn't get her in the studio for a minute. We got to go talk to her in the, you know Sixth Avenue and Fifty Eighth Street. Yeah. Speaking of TV, Louie, we got a yes. big uh, TV surprise for little Jimmy Nornaf. Mm. A surprise? Mm. Well, yeah, it was, oh. it was supposed to be. Oh, yeah, but uh, we got local TV coming in next ah. for, for little Jimmy Nornaf. Wasn't that confirmed? <laughs> Yes, I sent the email to everybody. CC'd. And there's some, supposed to be some girls coming in or something that Steve told me about? Yeah. So we'll take a break and uh, we'll do that next. Stay there. Opie and Anthony. It's Jimmy Gay. You guys shut up. A celebration in honor of James Norton. Oh, hair, hair, oh, hairs. On the Opie and Anthony Show. It's Jimmy's birthday. And it's his real birthday, and not, not those fake ones over the course of uh, the year. Happy birthday, Jimmy. From all of us at the Opie and Anthony Show. It's Opie and Anthony. This has been a perfect birthday <laughs> show because everything is going wrong. And, <laughs> and, uh, and that's what we expect when we do these birthday shows. So we're just about to go to break a few minutes ago, and we do. We go to break. And at that moment, that oh, second at we that went to second, break. At that second, the the uh, the camera crew comes in. Jill Nicolini, a cake is a cake, lit. All the candles. candles. It was completely the, off the air. It was it was the big moment that was supposed to be captured on the air, but these people were cued right as we went to commercials. <laughs> Fredo made a more dignified entrance than the first Godfather. <laughs> It was amazing how funny and and just mistimed that was. And Godfrey came over. I'm happy. Uh, yeah. Godfrey, Yay. the comedian, uh, came over from uh, the CW. CW. Yeah. He was uh, he was uh, talking about the Emmys over there, and now he's uh, here hanging with us. This is a cluster up today, this my friend. Awesome. But um, and, and then Steve is yelling and screaming, and then he attempted to uh, punch Danny in the face. All hell broke there loose. There was some violence. I got to say something, Danny. Did not twitch. No. Like Steve twitter. came running over. It looked like the running of the bulls. <laughs> like Steve came over. He said he was going to belt Danny. Yeah. And then Danny said something like, oh, shut up. Yeah. And I'm say something completely unbelievable right now. Yeah. Uh, and so just everybody in radio, get ready. Steve isn't that stupid. 
<laughs> well, he ran he's at you. Me, but he's not that. He, he did run at you, him. and <laughs> Danny didn't even him, twitch. Yeah. Danny didn't blink. Like I'd kind of, you know, well, I was Danny wince a little bit. Well, Danny said something like, "Do it." So Steve just charged, charged Danny, that, stopped Danny. literally uh, a no, centimeter no. from his face. I was standing right behind Danny, and I was a little. Uh, yeah, kinda, you know what kind of settlement that would be? Oh, I know. Oh. Hey, look, the, the 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 cake is burning out of control what cake, now. What yeah. well, Is there a cake? I would right. love it. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. Oh, oh, here comes there the cake. Go. Oh, they're all blown out. It's the oh, beautiful you, Jill Nicolini from the yeah. CW11. You're welcome. Oh, Take thank a look at your cake. Oh, it's, not, it's got me yeah. standing behind what appears to be a woman. And there, yes. let's just say she's wearing a pink sock. Yeah. <laughs> and there's a... Uh, there's oh a tee hee coming out of my mouth and a word, uh, splurt. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, let oh me blow my. out the candles. They've only been burning for 45 minutes. <laughs> yes, come in on the commercial while they're doing the American Ford <laughs> <laughs> How do you get a pink sock birthday cake? Uh, yeah, that's pretty all good. All right, can we clap it up for right. yeah, yeah, the there it is. Uh, bravo. Happy oh, birthday, you, Jimmy. Oh, nice. Thank you so much. And this is, uh, oh, thanks, Dan. And a year ago today, we met Jill Nicolini for the first time, yes, right? We it was yeah. the first time that, uh, why don't you sit on Anthony's lap? Okay. Uh, yeah, it was the first time Jill actually came into the studio. Right. Um, she was wearing a little yellow number mm -hmm. yes. that day. And, uh, uh, I took a picture with her and, uh, I laugh at that picture when I look at it because uh -huh. I'm nervous little Nelly. Well, I think I was all sweaty. Yeah, like a little boy was... meeting his, uh, movie star hero. Yeah, cause it was, you know, the pretty helicopter girl and yeah. I was just kinda like, eh. And, and like I sat douche. right there and he wouldn't even look at me. No. I was looking at Opie the whole time, Jimmy, and yeah. I saw you a little nervous, but I didn't think. And now 800,000 pictures later. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, Jill sure likes taking pictures. Uh -huh. Which is me. Uh, well, I know. Uh, then, uh, look at that. <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish you would have came in at 6.15 so Anthony could have been part of the show from, uh, the beginning today. <laughs> well, what happened? <laughs> it takes a film crew to wake Anthony up. <laughs> well, I was a little sleepy this morning. Louis, whoa, whoa, whoa. Louis looks at me after one of the segments. He goes, was Anthony even in studio the last yeah, like 40 I, minutes? I, I, I thought, is he gone? Is he here today? And he was sitting in that oh. chair the whole time. Oh, yeah. He was so He, he had a rough night. So. Well, you know what it was? You guys were telling stories about, uh, you know, Jim me and, and uh, debauchery and stuff, and I really yeah. didn't have much to add. Oh, wait, this is great. Save it for the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't spoil it on the air. <laughs> where's Steve? I don't want to yeah, feel where's left Steve? out bad. Steve, get in there. I don't want to feel bad. It was just a... It would have been a perfect ending to your birthday it, show. It actually... A, a fist Steve, fight. It couldn't oh have my happened God. in a better way. <laughs> yeah. it, oh, it wouldn't have been a fist Steve? fight. Oh, it no. It would have been a fist to my no, face. No, she's not Steve. Yeah, it would have just been one fist. Oh, here comes Steve. Oh, He's on Lebanese. Uh, and producer. in this corner, so uh, we think I just—it had to happen that way. It was—it oh, couldn't course. have been more perfect than the cake and everything coming in on the camera. It just couldn't have happened. It's <laughs> a perfect end to a perfect birthday. Happy birthday, dude! I—I I don't even know if we've done this justice. I go, we'll be back with the Opie and Anthony show, and at that moment, the <laughs> film crew, in. Yeah, the, oh, in. the cake with the candles burning, come walking through the door. <laughs> As if it was really important that it be off the air. Right. A very There's, private matter. Yeah, private matter. <laughs> Whatever you do, this is nobody's business. This is an affair of the heart. <laughs> Keep it between us. I will say this to Jim, and I won't spoil anything. This is only part one. So I have been uh -oh. on the... I, I I have been making so many calls with regards to your birthday. My brain is in. Who do you got? For, who, who do you got for part two? Yeah. Who do you have? Yeah. Who, it's a surprise. It's yeah. a surprise. Yeah. The thing is, really it's all that all that hard work. If it's not on the air, it's worthless. <laughs> it's right. a surprise that starts <laughs> oh, at worth. noon. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I actually do have another surprise for you. I have uh, two things for you uh, for your birthday. We're giving you a gift certificate from the CW11.com to Ooh. Destino's Restaurant, and that's uh, a great place. Where so, is it? Uh, it's on First Avenue, I believe, oh, in the 40s. Uh, it's 891 First Avenue, and uh, it's part of our dining picks thing. Okay. Then, of <laughs> course, you know, I bought your friend over here for you. Yeah. Now, that's you have right. one more See surprise. That? During the XM Hour, you have a very, very special guest, big celebrity. And oh. if you've been watching the CW11 this morning, you may know, or if not, you may see this special guest coming up soon. Oh, Not to yeah. give too much away, but it's someone who was on our show this morning. We'll be back. Huge oh, celebrity. Yeah. Does he know who Jimmy is? Of course he knows who oh, Jimmy yeah. is. Oh. Is it Smug Guy? 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, guy. I wanted him. Well, he couldn't come and work this Yeah, way. apparently it's time to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> is it Back, him. Is it Back em- to you in the studio. <laughs> is it Emily Francis on the way to the unemployment line? Oh, uh, no, <laughs> she's still okay. on vacation. Jeez, Opie. This cake is very Is this from the CW11? <laughs> yes. Yeah. This- Thank you. This is really good. Yum. Uh, <laughs> how do they get a pink sock <laughs> birthday <laughs> cake, Jimmy? Yeah, that is a good one. I'm not and, and then I have to run. Uh, well, and then I'm ru- I'm running I'm running commando today. Oh, let's nice. explain the reason little, why. There was a little problem. Yeah. Uh, last <laughs> night. What? I couldn't find my goddamn underwear this morning. Yeah. I think the you cat one, dragged it off. We, one we, pair. We woke up and <laughs> well, searched, just... running around the bedroom because the cat had to have taken her little teeth, the little kitten that was in here. Nice. Yeah. And um. And uh, ran off with my underwear. <laughs> Somewhere in the house, and you know, I was pretty tired this morning. Uh, it was very hard to get out of bed. Yeah, you're grumpy. And uh, the last thing you want to do is bend over naked to look under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Never a good angle. No. So I just put my uh, pants on, and you uh, have no other underwear except for the one pair the cat stole. That's well, not true. Yeah. Wait, wait. No, Keith did bring clothes to the CW11 for me and for you. Yeah, but I didn't take the underwear. Well, you should have. How awful your underwear the two animals are fighting over. <laughs> <laughs> there must be a lot of protein in that underwear. <laughs> for a cat. <laughs> a dog burying it. A little, a little packed hay for the cat. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, hey, we got another uh, surprise. Where's uh, where's the next birthday cake? Another surprise. Another you got to be. Yeah, let's uh, bring That's in the real next breakfast birthday right cake. there. That's real breakfast yeah, right you there. You have oh, an omelet. Yeah. Oh, oh, cool. That's <laughs> another cake. Another cake. And, and and this is always awkward. Woo! The staff here at CBS oh, coming in with CBS their birthday friends. cake. And Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Jim Norton. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. That's yeah, pretty uh, good, huh? <laughs> the staff here in New York. <laughs> sales guys without ties so they can try to fit in. That's you know. crazy. Yeah, <laughs> take the ties off. Let's loosen up yeah, on let's the Friday. Yeah, let's take the ties off before we go in there. Right. <laughs> It's out of control. Yeah. Yeah. Good the guy, good oh, guy in the stripes. Oh, hey, come closer. Come closer. Hey, a normal birthday cake. That looks thank good. Very Strawberries much. No with chocolate on that one, on Jimmy. That looks delicious. Look at that. You're yeah. right. Hey, they all me. took off their time. And we also have a, uh, a, a, yeah. <laughs> they a they Kiefer Sutherland. They're so calculated, these people. <laughs> these <laughs> madness in here. This Un- cake. Unbutton the top one. Yeah, right. Be loose. Chaos. These guys are really loose. They're really casual. Yeah, Oh, thank you very much. Thank you for the cake, too. All right. I appreciate that. <laughs> you guys want an omelet or anything from Basil kind of Tees? Yeah, there's food over there. Like, um, uh, They're trying to make us Tom's looser. River. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Eat. They're trying to make us looser. I'm yeah. going to eat some cake. Leave. Go back to corporate life. <laughs> Jimmy, it's your birthday. You eat whatever you want. I know. I'm going to really eat like a pig. <laughs> Keep it between us, guys. <laughs> 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 Jim, put on your Batman mask for the CW. Oh, yeah. Oh, I heard right Dark now. Knight is awesome. Did you go see it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Was it awesome? It's amazing. Uh, Keith Ledger was great. Uh, what happened? Uh, who else? Uh, Clint Eastwood was really good as Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> All right, we get it. We get it. That's That's silly. Silly. I'm Batman. <laughs> He looks so That's silly. Only, that's the only thing anyone's going to see is you in the mask. That's all they should see. That's it. it look, I'm Batman, and I like reading good books. Oh, oh, shameless shameless plug. Plug. Well, I didn't plug. I'm just holding it up because that's what Batman does. <laughs> you know what an ass I feel like? Don't show this on the television. I'll look foolish. <laughs> I'm 40 years old, and I'm doing this. <laughs> he looks <laughs> This is like me being crazy. I put on the mask, guys. This is all they'll show. What a tool of a comp. Radio, <laughs> silly man. I know. Yeah, exactly. I'm on the radio wearing a funny mask. <laughs> you got to have the horn. Make the, make the horn. Hit, though. Oh, I, I am a true fool. <laughs> you really are. But uh, It's really, awesome, though. All kidding aside, uh, thank you, everybody. <laughs> for part of this mask and, on. You know, to not look like an ass, I want to say thank you to the staff. And, and for me, we're all getting nuts. You guys without ties. Oh, with wow. The mask. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you guys are really missing something at home. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the lips of a cat. What's that? <laughs> is this like? It is almost like the Halle Berry Catwoman one. I'm Batman. <laughs> Christian Bale stinks. 
It was he bad in that? No, he's a great actor, but his choice to just grovel voice the whole thing. <laughs> it, Heath Ledger is putting on an Oscar-worthy performance, and he's just disguising himself it been, <laughs> like a five-year-old trying to sound different on the phone. It would have been great if they spent all the money on that on the movie, but the, he just wore a mask like that with a, with a rubber band. <laughs> the actual Batman movie. Yeah, all the effects and everything. Like all of that, but they, for him, they just put a yeah. rubber band, and he's wearing a Batman T-shirt, <laughs> just running around. And then the Joker comes behind him and snaps the rubber band and says, "Shut up." <laughs> <laughs> he falls down, <laughs> and he's got a Halloween like bag the whole time. And the it. original Commissioner Gordon comes in and administers a good tea bagging. <laughs> I'm Batman. And then Adam West takes over. Oh, oh we got no. greedy. Oh, oh, we got greedy. Oh, All boy. right, well, oh, what happened? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put the headphones on and look silly. <laughs> Jimmy, you look awful. Of that course I look awful. Really the worst silly. thing is the shaved head. Look at the profile. Oh. The shaved head with the mask in front of it is Imagine, really, imagine this shows really up to rescue you from three. peril. <laughs> yeah, <this laughs> from is, peril. Look at that. <laughs> with the no chin. Yeah, my weak Bat chin and my, with no my chin. fat Mr. Freeze neck. I'll save you, madam. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Bat, ba bat, barely a man. Uh, well, this couldn't be uh, this couldn't be more dignified a way to spend my 40th birthday, 18 yeah. years in entertainment, and I'm putting on a mask. But thank you to the CW11. It's very nice of you guys to, I'm sure, feature uh. this. <laughs> oh, yeah. It'll be on our website. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly. a web. This is a website piece. That's what I hear whenever the news of somebody films me. Yeah. No, no, we're not going to show, but the CW11.com. <laughs> the website. Where goes. That's where it goes. Which gets. Uh. An extreme amount of hits, so oh, it's a good yeah. one. Of course it does, but uh, yeah, Jill and Anthony met here on my birthday a year ago. Yes. Oh, that's cool. And uh, she yeah. came in, it was a celebration of my birthday, but, uh, you know, she liked Anthony, and I guess I've been dealing with that for eight years, you've been dealing with it for 12. <laughs> and, uh, oh. Anthony's terrific. I'm likable. Get it. <laughs> He's just a likable guy. You are. Yeah. You're lovable. What can I say? He's sweet. Aww. Aww. Yes, make everyone sick. Oh. All right. Oh, Look at Bo Did you hear the oh, lit? Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. I like Boss is Jimmy's deeply up. disturbed. Nice Hold on. Boss, what's, what's up? up? No, ugh. Why ugh? What's the matter, Rich? I don't know. Hey, I want to hear Rich tongue. is all bummed you out. Hear some tongue? Why, why are you bummed out, Rich? Do the tongue I'm thing. I'm bummed out. I mean, Do the it's, tongue it's, thing. Let's hear tongue. Listen. Shh, quiet. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, shit. Mm. Yep. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> nice. I like that. That was awesome. I used to kiss like that. What is this, junior high? Yeah. Yeah. Something. It's like Hitler kissing a pretty girl. <laughs> like? It is. My Ava Braun. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, our boss is here. You got some words today, boss? You better Hello. say. Yeah, you better say Hi, something. How are you? Over here. You better say something for Jimmy's birthday. How are you? Oh, we have. Nice. We, I saw you outside. Oh, here comes oh uh, Mara. Wait, wait, wait. Our, our boss is cursing on the radio. On her own. Uh, smell good. There she is. It's called vodka. Get over there. Get over there and say you, something. You're the boss. I know your name. I, I saw wait, get on mic. Get on mic. Over there. You've been you've been in radio ooh. twenty some odd years. Have we That's actually ha, have we actually met yet? No, we haven't. We haven't. Yeah, no, you're the new. I've heard of you. Yeah, I've heard of you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thanks for the more. That's always good. That's what you want to hear from the boss. I've heard of you. I've well, heard of you. That's Not. perfect. That's perfect. At least she doesn't hate me. I, I heard of you. She what? walked in and she's like, which one is Jim? <laughs> right. I like her. She didn't pretend. She's honest. All right. <laughs> thank you. And you thing. pointed out my failure on television. <laughs> there she goes. But thank you. Old Mrs. Brady haircut. <laughs> <You know, laughs> Who's that? Jude hey, Lockhart? Hey, do the Brady, Brady. Jude Lockhart. <laughs> what is the Brady music when they go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 when all the CBS people came in here, they all turned and looked at me. I think they all thought I was Jim. I, I think the, so. the camera was kind of on me, yeah. and they were all smiling at me. Oh, jeez. No, I'm not. They barely pay it's attention. Not me. No, but you're, yeah. you're yeah. our idea right now of a big celebrity get yeah. for the birthday. So let's focus on that angle. Make this the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, oh, I tell uh, you, wow, you this has been uh, amazing. Who's the rockabilly guy? Is he from CW11? Rockabilly. <laughs> oh, that's Doug. That's Doug. Harley Williams. Doug, come here. They love your voice. Come here. We have some cake. Doug is our <laughs> um, web guy and our. How you doing? Doug, Doug, Doug say this hello. Is a web piece. Give the Doug's voice. cool, man. Hello. Doug's got a good. Uh, 
voice. <laughs> we'll be playing handball yeah. off his hair later. Why are you <laughs> making fun Doug of Doug? Doug is responsible for the uh, Anthelini Dave and Buster's date. Yeah, I you set these two up. You, yeah, you no. set them up. Yeah, you guys set them up. No, I man, them. Mankind I would never did. do that. It was uh, Mick Foley, the wrestler. Set really? Us up. Yeah. yeah. Cupid. Yep. Who would have known? Voss is really like pissed. I'm not Where's pissed. Voss? No, I just. Where's Voss? You know, why can't yeah. you just be happy? Oh, why can't nice. you be happy for your friends? Yeah. I'm very happy. I'm really not. Did this dare turn into a relationship? <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs> nice. It sure did. There. <laughs> what? Oh, oh man. Yeah. Think. Oh, that's a good one. Quit some ice cream cake. Yeah, we want. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. I want some. You want some ice what cream? What gas I'm gonna have? Because I'm a little lactose intolerant. Tee hee hee. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be problems. And I'm sitting next to you. That Fantastic. is gonna reek. All right, let's get out of here. I hate to end oh, this yeah, one. Oh yeah, look at this. This has been just terrific today. A classic. Oh, happy I didn't birthday, get to read to Jimmy. Oh, look, a piece of cake. What time you guys? Oh, oh, oh maybe man. We can rack up and wrap up the segment with me eating my cake. Making funny things. That's Thank you. Awesome. All right, Rich Voss, where are you going to be? We got Trump Marina tomorrow night. Rich Voss. Nice, boss. Louis, where are you going to be? <laughs> Can we do the plugs after we get off the air? <laughs> yeah, do them on the way over when there's no microphones. <laughs> oh, Louis, you got to be on a plane, huh? Zanies, Nashville, Zanies Nashville tonight Nashville, and tomorrow. Tonight and nice. tomorrow. Okay. And then Sunday, I'm in Newport at the whatever tent at the yacht something. <laughs> the Newport. It's a big. Co it's a comedy uh, series they do there, Newport, Rhode Island. That's Sunday night. <laughs> God for all this. I'm local. I ain't going anywhere. Comedy cellar. Mm -hmm. That's Com right. All week. All right. Do it. Yeah. I want to thank Jill Nicolini, CW11. Thank you. The Rockabilly Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Basil Tees, Hooper yeah. Avenue, Tom's River for the omelets, the food. Come on. Ooh, 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 ooh. That food was excellent. Yeah, Basil Tees rocks. Of course, CBS. Well, the sales guys, thank you. We thank them for not thank coming you. in here with their dumb ties. Don't put your ties back on. <laughs> yeah. 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 And uh, and Roland for just pulling out all stops to, and getting Bob Levy and Florentine. <laughs> Florentine. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how you got those guys. It's just unbelievable. Huh, and Jerry? Colin. They're two comedians who you can actually look up in the phone book. Wait, and, and there's one more surprise guest. Yeah. One more surprise guest at XM. So. What are they? What? Is, what did is... you get me, Chuck Nice? Did you get? <laughs> Chuck oh. Nice? Actually, he said he may stop by, but that's not the surprise. Chuck oh, Nice. I know. I love Chuck Nice. I want to discuss his alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you see him, you're like, Chuck, keep it down. It's good to see you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to get out of here. We're off to XM. Have a great weekend. Bye, we'll guys. <laughs> We got a crowd today, my friends. It's the Opie and Anthony Show at XM Satellite Radio. Certainly do. We got easily 100 people here. Easily. We got Rich Voss in the studio, Louis C.K. We got Jimmy in the hallway. We got, uh, can Jimmy hear us yet? Jimmy! I hope not. We Don't got... let him in. He can't hear right now? All right, we got Sabra Cadabra here, ready to play for Jimmy. Jimmy has no idea. Yeah. That's going to be cool as hell. And we got Dana White on the phone from uh, the UFC who wants to wish Jimmy a very happy birthday. Well, let's bring in the birthday boy. CW11 also made the walkover with us. Oh, everyone is so excited to Good see the Jimmy. birthday boy. Oh, thank you. Look at this. Ah, hi. Boys, how are you? It's Sabra Cadabra. Yes, Sabra it is. Sabra Cadabra so for Jimmy. Jimmy, take the special birthday chair today. Is this the, which is the birthday chair? That's the birthday chair. I like the birthday chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's he supposed to do the show from that chair? Now, yeah. Jimmy, we were going to go with the big Sabra Cadabra, and they were going to start playing right away, but we got uh, we got Dana White on the phone. He wants to wish you a happy birthday oh, from okay. UFC. And uh, he only has a few minutes, so okay. let's do yes. this first, and right. then we're going to get uh, Sabra Cadabra to play some, some tunes for you. Uh, Dana. Good morning. Good morning. Dana White from the UFC, of course. How are you, sir? I'm great. How are you guys doing? Good, Good. man. How are you? It's uh, Jimmy's birthday. Happy birthday, Jimmy. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, thanks for taking care of me and uh, Bob Kelly uh, when we were out there. Dude, I, I had a really great time. It was the first fight I ever went to. It was the uh, was the Rampage Jackson uh, Forrest Griffin fight, and uh, it was Forrest, amazing, man. dude. 
pleasure. I'm glad you, you know, did you, did you see on the internet they were putting out that, uh, you're dating Mandy Moore because you were sitting right next to her? I, I know, you should have seen me. I saw the Fox cameras ready to, to go to Mandy Moore, and you've never seen someone sit down and look straight ahead faster than me. And that's why dumb Bob, you see half his stomach in most of those pictures, <laughs> because he has no television instincts whatsoever. <laughs> and the only, my only criticism was I went to the after party, and it was, it was, a, it was a good time in, in the club, but a few more chicks next time. It was just like every Opie Anthony event. It was like 50 oh, guys yeah. and one girl. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. That's what the UFC after parties are usually like, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Just, and they can't compete with those alpha males you it's know? like it's like the accused it couldn't have how come god didn't stand up aren't you gonna sit yeah sit down somewhere just, what, just grab a seat yeah, yeah, seats. Seats. yeah, yeah sit sure. why are we making the black man stand yeah why the black what man the hell is that stand? about damn it we we thought, about to win. Hey, so, uh, we thought you were the waiter hey dana <laughs> yeah we have, uh, <laughs> it's really loud in here but i i you know he's our pal rampage jackson what do we know oh yeah is he all right yeah, yeah, he, well, he's all right, yeah. I mean, when, when, the first, when the thing happened, it made no sense to me whatsoever. I mean, I've known him for a long time. He's a good guy. Um, and then once I went out there, you know, I was there when he got out, and uh, then it all made sense. He, he actually went yesterday. He's been checked into a hospital uh, for psych evaluation. Did he have a – was it – did that loss – Ah, uh, really, really hurt him, man. Because um, he looked—I saw him at the press conference afterwards. I mean, you can never tell how much physical injury somebody has. But did that loss really affect him uh, badly? It, it must have. I mean, I, I don't know what he's going through right now. It's, you know, like I said, this guy is a friend of mine. Uh, he, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's and, a funny uh, guy too. Yeah, we yeah, love when he comes yeah. on our show, and he is, uh, he's awesome. Something he's, obviously snapped in him because it yeah. just didn't seem like uh, it was part of his character that we knew. Yeah, no, he's, he, it's not. It's not a part of his character at all. He's, he's a good guy, and yeah. uh, that's why I said it made no sense to me. And then once I went down and met and talked with him, it absolutely made sense to me then. What, and, why? Did you just seem like he was not the same guy you knew? Yeah, totally. And it wasn't, uh, it, it, it didn't seem to you at least like it was anything that had been taken? It just seemed like something that somebody had mentally just had yeah. like a real no, rough they, time? They, let me tell you, it was so crazy they took him when they tried to check him in you know uh you know book him they could they took him to the hospital instead to get checked out obviously one of the things they do is drug test you right you know and uh he, he wasn't on drugs rampage doesn't do drugs well did he get hit too hard or any of that crap or is it you know uh... what? He's, he's he's he he became born again like yeah, about 2003 yeah and uh you know he he started going on some crazy fasting thing after this uh, fight and, and didn't drink anything but water and, and energy drinks for like four or five days. Wow. Yeah, and uh, didn't sleep a lot and, you know, pretty crazy. So so he's uh, getting checked out as we speak, huh? He, no, he's literally in the hospital. He's been in the hospital since yesterday. How long is he uh, going to be in there? I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? And how how about, because um, it was it was a really a great fight. I mean, uh it, it, Rampage got kicked in, the, I think, the second round. It, 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 it was such a devastating kick that he was actually hobbling. To see him hobbling was kind of uh, unsettling. And then he, uh, then he spent the whole second round on his back just trying to keep Forrest, you know, kind of, just to kind of recover. Uh, but I, I actually thought he won the fight. I mean, I, I was really close. Rogan disagrees, though. Rogan thought that Forrest took it. What is, uh, what is <laughs> Forrest's next fight? Um, I, we don't know yet. We don't know when he'll fight again. But my, my, my partner, Lorenzo, had it a draw. I had it even going into the uh, last round, and I gave the last round to Forrest. Right. Um, it was a close fight. I mean, it, either way, the only thing, what was really bad was you could go, Rampage won the fight, it was a draw, or Forrest won the fight. I mean, that's how a lot of people feel. But the, the scoring where Forrest won by two rounds and stuff like that is crazy. It was terrible, yeah, because especially when you're taking a champion's belt, and um, you know what I mean? It, it's got to be kind of like a, maybe they just didn't like Rampage, or even if they gave it to Forrest, you're right. I thought the scoring was a little bit uh, anti anti Quentin. I, I couldn't agree with you more. That's why I always tell these guys, you know, you know what you do to keep that from happening? Don't let it go to the scorecards. Don't give the judges an opportunity huh. to do that to you. Yeah, well, I think he had said that too in the pre-fight stuff that he wasn't going to let it go mm -hmm. uh, all, all the way, and unfortunately for him, it did. He you know, laying off for nine months is kind of tough. Uh, but Rampage is so strong. I mean, uh, he really, you can see he was really hurting uh, uh, Griffin, uh, for, I guess, the third and the fourth round in that fight. And Absolutely. I, I felt bad for him to see him lose it. but And then he's got that power when, when he, he got caught in that submission and how he just picks guys right up, uh, 
and then he was getting ready to slam for us. The floor stood up. Remember? Yeah, he picked. He, Rampage picked him up because Rogan said he had grappled once with with Rampage. And he said he's so strong that he just he just picked him up like a child off the ground and was going to slam. Of course, he didn't because they were just uh, just kind of grappling yeah. around in, in, in practice. All right. It's amazing. He really is a powerful guy. And, and Liddell, Liddell had gotten hurt uh, when he was supposed to fight in England. He's fighting uh, where, in Atlanta? Yeah, he's fighting in Atlanta now in uh, September. Can we go? We would love to. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Do you want to go? <laughs> yeah, I want to go. You guys, you guys are in. Whenever you guys want to go to a fight, it's done. You guys are in. You got it. And, Dane, I want to explain again. You invited all of us to the, the Vegas thing, and I, I had a family vacation that was planned months in advance, and I'm, I'm, I was dying knowing that Jimmy was out there with Bob Kelly having a great time. So I, I, I want to go to the Atlanta one, man. Um, yeah, no, Don, you guys can go whenever you want to. Whenever you're ready to come to a fight, you're in. I oh, want to see. That's cool. Well, I wanted to go to the Vegas one, but nobody told me. <laughs> I'm invited. Rich Voss, thank you. Um, <laughs> Leech. So who is, who is Chuck fighting in September? He's fighting Rashad Evans. Now, if he wins that, obviously people want to see Liddell. I mean, he, you know, he's, I think he's the biggest name in UFC. I mean, I, I'm not, I don't think I'm being, like, really, you know, in knowledge saying that. Yeah. Uh, what, what are the odds of him fighting uh, Griffin if Griffin wins his next uh, uh, first defense? He's, he, he, they're definitely both big stars. If he beat Rashad Evans, yeah, you could definitely see a Forrest Griffin uh, Chuck Liddell fight. That would be nice. I mean, uh, I mean, Liddell's been around for a long time, so uh, I'd like to see him get the belt before he decides to, uh, you know, whatever he decides yeah, to retire. How many, how many more years do you think uh, Liddell has? I don't know. It's, it's a tough question, you know, because uh, Couture, you know, has lasted, you know, to 44 years old. Chuck Liddell is 38, and uh, I'll tell you what, his next couple of fights will probably tell the tale. Yeah. My, one of my new favorite human beings, and I, 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 I didn't like him until when he knocked out Crow Cup, but Gonzaga... Is a savage, isn't he? I, isn't he? You, he really is. You can't book him on headline fight because literally, what was it? A minute and a half into the first round, Oof. he's just got a foot like a mule. And uh, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he break Randy's arm? And Randy's still on the fight. Yeah. Yeah. Man. He broke his arm kicking it. Yeah. Uh -huh. He kicked him and broke his arm. Wow. So that guy is he? Got, like, he has a long future in the UFC. I hope. Hello? He is. He's oh. unbelievable. Gonzaga <laughs> is a beast. You know, we, we, I thought that that guy was going to dominate the heavyweight division for a long time, you know, and he's had a couple of setbacks. But you're right. When he fights, the guy comes out to absolutely destroy you. How did he, did he lose uh, uh, just due to inexperience? I mean, he's got eight, th eight 11 fights. He's 8 and 3. I mean, yeah. Was... Yeah, I think it was. I think it was inexperience. Um, you know, time's going to tell with this guy. He, uh, we saw what he did to Crow Cop. You saw what he did in the last fight. And, and he's done that to a lot of people that he's fought. He's, he's a very, very uh, tough guy, very well-rounded. I think it's an experience factor for him right now. And uh, last time you called, you, you were you were very uh, comfortable. You were shitting on Fedor. I mean, he's fighting tomorrow night. Do um, you, you think he's just overrated, or do you think he's going to murder who he's fighting? Well, I think that Fedor, uh, you know, in, in, in his day, was a great fighter and could be considered a great fighter. He hasn't fought anybody since 2005. You know what I mean? Right. Everybody talks about, oh, Fedor, this. It's 2008. <laughs> yeah. He hasn't fought anybody since 2005. Hey, hey. Who, who do you like in the British Open? <laughs> 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 they should get a little extreme golf going on. Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Dana, when are you going to get into the New York market? We're working on that right now. Uh, what the talk. fuck is taking so long, man? Madison I know, I, I know it's not you, but they, the, <laughs> it's, boxing. It's still, it's still illegal in New York, right? Yeah, we, we've been working on it for that a sucks. long time. I thought we'd be in there uh, this year. Not looking like we're going to be in there till next year now. New York and Massachusetts, the two what? states that aren't done yet. Jesus, it's ridiculous, it's crazy. Yep. It is ridiculous. Dana, I agree. How hard are you going to get when the, the call comes that you can bring the UFC to Madison Square Garden? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we're pumped, man. I, I, both. I want to do Madison Square Garden and the Boston Garden. I'm excited for both of them. You guys will sell them both out too, because people know that the last two holdouts. It's just that the people who are involved in boxing and the Garden are so deeply entrenched. Yeah. And of course, no one would ever imply corruption in Boston. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just a coincidence that the same fucking people have been there since 1940. Exactly. <laughs> 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 fucking mouth asshole that guy yeah. is. But you guys will get in. I mean, it's a legitimate sport everywhere. So uh, you, you'll certainly get in. I, I got to ask Dana one more question. What is the last really rich thing you? Did really rich thing? I yeah. yeah, this guy loves uh, spending his money and having fun with it. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, actually, I don't act like a rich asshole to be honest. No, with I you. know I, that, I, but I don't. You know, uh, the last probably crazy thing that I did with my money that 
I'm probably going to be MC Hammer in about four years. Uh, I'm going to be on VH1 going, I had it all. I had cars and money, and now I'm broke. I, uh, about ten years ago, I, I went to this summer com concert festival, uh -huh. and Joan Jett and the Blackhearts played. And Joan Jett was so badass. I was blown away by how good she was. You know, I was never a huge Joan Jett fan. Yeah, I love rock and roll. It's a great song and stuff. I saw her play, and I was blown away by her. So about a month and a half ago, I rented out the Viper Room in L.A. Right. and had Joan Jett and the Blackhearts come play there for me and a few of my friends. <laughs> That's nice. Uh, <laughs> uh, Dude, what another dime in a jukebox, baby. <laughs> you want to do something great. crazy, though? You want to spend money properly, man, when you're in Atlanta? You buy a hooker for Jim Norton. That's uh, right. <laughs> that's a great way to spend money. That's no, right. if you're rich, that's you got to do those things. Yeah, yeah, of course. Flush bars of gold down the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, you just got to do rich things. Yeah. Dana White knows how to do rich sure. things. Well, Dana, thanks a lot, man, and, and thanks so much for uh, uh, for taking such good care of us. Like I, I told you, I told you in person, I saw you, but usually, you know, you get the, the the people yes you to death, but we were taken care of better than anybody ever has. So it's really appreciated. Let man. me jump in, Dana. Uh, Jimmy came back. He couldn't believe how. Well, you you took care of uh, him and Bob Kelly. Like it, it was just over the top, over the top. You guys were uh, just uh, a class act. No, my pleasure, man. I, I appreciate it. Let me tell you what. Uh, you, you, uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys giving us the support. And uh, right back at you, man. Anytime you guys want to come to an event, you're in. I will see you at the Liddell fight in Atlanta. Absolutely. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, right. man. Take care, Dana. Dana thank White from the UFC. Mm -hmm. For Jimmy's birthday. Yeah, Jimmy's birthday. Yes. The, what is he? Does he run the... He's the boss. He's, he's, he's the, the, the ball guy. guy. Yeah, he's an animal. Hey, guy. boss. He's the guy. He's the ball guy. Hey, let, listen. Would have liked to have asked him about... Bob Levy and yeah, uh, awesome. Danny Bonaduce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are his odds on that? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we these guys have been standing there with instruments Can in their hands <laughs> for literally 45 minutes. Really? So, oh, I'm yeah. sorry, guys. We got Sabra Cadabra in studio. Ooh. They're playing tomorrow they're at the Michael. Surf Club in Ortley Beach, New Jersey, 1900 Ocean Avenue, 732-793-6625. If you want to see uh, Sabra Cadabra, but for Jimmy's birthday, they're gonna take uh, take over for Jimmy's a little bit. Yeah, birthday. they they uh, they fucking are uh, an amazing Black Sabbath cover band, and uh, they sing fucking they they sound like old Sabbath. It's fucking it's great. You guys doing all right? <laughs> well, your mic should be on. Is your mic on, bro? Yeah. I can barely hear you. Oh no, his mic's not on. I I, 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 I got the mic on. Oh, yeah. it, could I say, say Joe, is your mic on? He was uh -oh. speaking to him. Cash money order. No, no, no. Why would it work? <laughs> <laughs> why would it work? Why would it work? Audience, why that would studio work? audience hey. looks like an Aryan Brotherhood meeting out there. We got to get his. Uh, <laughs> hey, can it we get for me? Get Joe a cordless <laughs> mic. Can somebody get Joe a cordless mic if that one's not working? Yeah, how about we? Oh, we'll get number Joe. one on that. Well, at least we talked to Joe on the radio. Does that one work? I think gays and try that one. Just just check, 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 check. Oh, hey. No, that one's still on. This one's not. How is that? Yeah, it's not. It's not live. Hey, by the way, Jimmy. Now that, that now, now, that we're, now that we're on XM, this is just uh, you know on, on your hey, birthday, hey, hey. the day you were born, somebody walking by, what they would have said. Yes. Watching you be born, they would have said, "Hey, look, there's some cunt coming out of some cunt's cunt." <laughs> <laughs> That's what Holy happened shit. 40 years ago today. <laughs> <laughs> you could have said That's that at CBS. Oh, on the upper oh yeah. Hey, Sorry, I can't. Hey, is this going to work? Uh, are we going to try a song and see what happens? Much. Try that one again. Mars, is this going to work? Oh, man. All right, let's see if, uh, if this is going to work. Here, take the wireless uh, yeah, mic. You can use the wireless. I think the, the other one's not working. Check it. Hey, yeah. it's getting there. That one's fine. Take try, try the, the, try the wireless one mic now. away from Joe. Thank you. Okay, try the big one. Jesus. Try the wired mic now, Joe. Yeah. Try that one now. Boom. Yeah. Boom. 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 Nothing. No. Bam, 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 bam. It's not working, Mars. They're hearing it in the other room. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Well, Are they hearing it in the other room? All right. Heard. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll give it a try here. It's okay. uh, Sabra Cadabra for Jim Norton's birthday. Take it away, guys. Oh. Fire. Yeah, why would it work? Why would it work? Can you hear it? What the fuck? I thought it was instrumental. No. No, it's coming through. I was like, this is... 
when are you gonna sing? It was, it was just, it was just everything coming through the, the, the air mics. Yeah, no, I so. knew it didn't work. No, I, t- I turned off all the air mics. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what's the deal there? What's what's well, going on? So you was just going. No, nah, we want to hear it, man. With that that nice, baby. Musically, it sounded good, but we didn't hear the I vocals. I could have done a freestyle rhyme while and wait for you to jump in. Yeah, no. <laughs> right, there's a lot of there's a lot of. Oh yeah, because you're black. Hold on. That's right. <laughs> That's what I do. That's God for you. Like yes. I like racism. Beautiful. What are they doing? <laughs> And I like maybe I got a big chuckle from that. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Mars, Mars what's like going on? Look at that. Mars. I have uh, I, uh. Oh, jeez. I, uh. Well, uh, well ow. Tell me what Mike Keep it down, Mars. Mars, what's going on? Uh, well, I'll Do look we over know? here now. Oh, all about the push right? <sighs> maybe that one right there. Ooh. Not that one. Maybe. He pushed a button, Jimmy. Okay. Joe, just try it. Joe, say something. Wah, wah. No. Oh, he's way down in the mix. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Can, can what in good God's name? These guys have been staring Every goddamn time we try. We can never get music correct. Every time we do it, there's a technical glitch. A clusterfuck. Whether it's here or CBS. Well, uh, Jimmy, we got a girl here that wants to give we, you we, a we, uh, birthday gift. So we, why don't we do well, that? Can, I don't, can we, uh, as we try to figure out the mix. All right, now we got to get Sabra Kadabra play. So maybe the girl can give me a gift. Can we at least? Him. What's that? I'm hearing this mic now. Wait, Talk jump. One two. Uh-oh. Very loud. Though. Wait, wait. Go ahead. Can I get one louder? Yes, Jimmy. No, nah, you can't. No. That's, like no. Barely. No, that's, that's bleeding. Uh, There's something wrong. Give him either a regular mic. Can, can you sing into one of these cordless ones or not? Yeah, yeah. We can mix it off of Take. our wireless pod. But you're not going to get whatever uh, else is getting put in the mix. Why the hell isn't it working? I don't know. It should just be working. Of course it should be. Right. Oh, yeah. Hey, hello. How are you? How are you? Oh, my God. No, Jim. Yes, Jim. Hi, yeah, that's perfect. I can hear you perfectly. Like, oh, should we sing with the wireless? <laughs> Big well, furry well, mic. What you... And now we hear check. Wow, hey, it's up to you, Joe. You want whatever try you want to do. We uh, check it one. Two. Now you can hear me with this oh, one. Oh yeah, perfect. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Because we can't hear. Yeah, but if you stand right there and sing right there, I can hear. It called oh, so you wanted to just pocket. stand and stand, sing it to two microphones? Ozzy used to do that. He would tape them together. All right. You want to tape that on the other one? Maybe you got some duct tape. <laughs> Did anybody test these, by the way? Yeah. Shouldn't it have all been? Wait, were these tested before? Yes. Yesterday and this morning. And they worked. Yeah. Okay. They were tested. They didn't work, but they were tested. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no good. Perfect. Check it one, two. What time did you guys get How's here? That's not Jimmy. That sounds great. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Got the tape. Oh, wait, can you guys can you guys hear Joe through that one? You can only hear him faintly through the wireless. Yeah, we're gonna tape the two microphones and try that, you. There, Jimmy. Well, Sabra Kadabra. Really, the fucking best Sabra. You want us responsible band. for this shit? Together, Where are you guys like playing tomorrow night? Conference. Surf Club, Ocean <laughs> Avenue, Whitley Beach. Beach. Everything we've done today has been just a fucking a step off, which is kind <laughs> of perfect. Because I'm 40 and I'm languishing in mediocrity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. E-Rock, what are you doing? Are you not taping it right? Ugh. He's probably got the fucking sticky side up. Pretendos are <laughs> Pretendos are legs. Oh, uh, no, no, like the, now the mic's over. It's, it's like too heavy. Blind. Now it's too heavy. Hey, you want to throw some weights on that? <laughs> All right, we're going to try again or what? <laughs> yeah. Take get, two get with Sabra Kadabra. Let's go get for Jim shit. Norton's birthday. Yeah. Hit it. Thanks, guys. Yes. For Sabra Kadabra live. Thanks. For Jim Norton's the birthday. best Sabbath cover band Joe sounds like fucking Ozzy in 1969, and they fucking do all the obscure shit, man. I love you guys. Thank you, Jimmy. Happy birthday. Thank you, man. By the way, That's Nelson Mandela's birthday is today, too. Yeah. I like the fact awesome. that CNN is covering that shit awesome. instead of my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck has he done? What has he done besides break the law? <laughs> he's been good lately, though. The butt in <laughs> You know, he's, he learned his lesson being in jail. 27 did. years. Yeah, no kidding.
Uh, that's the song Jimmy used to walk on stage to, by the way. It yeah, be noted. I actually, uh, yeah, fucking National Acrobat off of fucking Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. And I actually had to go to Sabbath to get permission to use that my HBO special to walk out with. They had to go to each individual band member. Yeah. They gave it to me dirt cheap. Like, they knocked all the money off, and the publisher yeah. still wanted a little bit of money. We had to get approval from all the band members. Jimmy, so they fucking they approved it. We're going to get another song from Sabbath Cadaver in a minute, but we got another uh, celebrity calling in for your birthday. Okay. This is a biggie. Hello, sir. Let me get the, uh, uh, Michael. Hello. Michael K. Williams. Hey, what's happening? Michael? Yes. Jimmy's going to freak. Omar from the wire. Holy get shit. Get out of here. Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Hold on, bro. Don't, 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 don't get scared. This ain't a hold of I'm not, I ain't, I ain't got my shotgun Yo, this morning. I, the I, I, I come in peace, man. I, Yo. I actually, is, is Jimmy in the building? I'm right here, man. Yeah. You did it? Yo, Jimmy, man, I was, I was called this morning and wish you a blessed and happy birthday, man. And, and, and you know what I mean? Enjoy this day and may you have many more. Thank you, man. You know, it's amazing. We tried so hard to get you on the show. I'm a tremendous oh my wire God. fan. Everybody oh. here is. I'm, I'm starstruck for the first time in a while. Yeah. Oh. It's the best show on TV. <laughs> Fun show. Is, Fun show it is. Show. You, Michael, <laughs> I cannot wait till August for the for the last DVD set, man. Me too. Do you know? Oh, oh where it's coming? You got more information than me. It's coming out in August. In <laughs> August, man. I was waiting in like in March, yo. I was like, yo, I was in Barnes and Noble, like, yo, when is the last wire shit coming out, son? I gotta see what Omar's about to do. <laughs> yo, uh, shit, shit, um, they like everybody else and T T um T vo them there. Yeah, they yeah. Kept more the God, so you, you gotta you gotta know better people. I got I got the last season around. No, you don't. Oh, you don't. Oh, oh yeah, man. I'm I'm off you right now. <laughs> yo, yeah, yo, 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 let me burn them shits, yo. <laughs> hey, Michael, when did you know they were going to kill you? Did they tell you uh, in, in the beginning of the season, or did you find out as the time came? I mean, I, I knew Omar was going to die from the, from, from the, the day I was hired. You know what I mean? Um, um, they told me it was going to put, initially it was only, only it's supposed to be seven episodes. Wow. They were going to kill him off then. But then, you know, they kept, you know, the, the character grew and they, they grew the, you know, the writers, they kept, you know, they developing him. But I always knew from day one that they were going to, um, they were going to kill off Omar. Hey, this is, uh, uh, Rich Foss, uh, big act, Comedy Central, last Comedy Central. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is it true that the little girl on the show was really, just walking by and they hired her. She was really just like a street person. She's not a little girl. Well, you know, it's 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 size. You're talking about uh, probably uh, Felicia. Her name, is, her, yeah. her name is Felicia Pearson. She yeah. plays Snoop. And, yeah. and we met actually in a, in a local bar down in Baltimore. And, um, you know, we um, exchanged the conversation. And, and, and when she told me she, I didn't know she was a female. I was trying to figure out as yeah. I was talking to her. And when she told me she was a, a female, I was like, man, you, you know, you got to meet the producers. And um, I brought them to her that that Monday, and she was they they wrote her in that same week, and she's been rocking ever since. That's, yeah, that's a trippy looking dude, what? chick, chick dude, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> she was hard to man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This yeah. is Godfrey. I'm talking. I have more credits than yeah. Rich. Listen, <laughs> I, no, I'm just I'm commercials, <laughs> commercials. I just Rich was again first white guy in Def Jam, and I just yeah, he did do it first. Do you know? Hold on, you the first white guy that did Def Jam. Yeah. We interviewed Russell Simmons. He yeah. didn't fucking remember you. Yeah. Well, it was ten years ago. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to bring what? that up there, Rich. It was yeah. ten years ago. Yeah. Ten comedians. years ago, we gave them all yo, hints. We gave me a name. We did everything. We're all hey, so like, weren't you in the Hulk, yo? Yeah, for like five for seconds. For five seconds, you, right? You he was in the Hulk. Me. Yeah. I but saw I had a bigger scene, though. They cut it out for some reason, man. I had, like, dialogue and everything. Me, me and the Hulk had to sit down. They didn't want you to shoot the Hulk floor. with a double barrel shotgun. Oh, man. How was it nah, playing nah, a cop? Nah, negative, negative, <laughs> negative. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, hey, how was it playing a cop in, uh, what was, what was that? Don Baby Gone, Don Baby Gone, yeah. It was weird seeing as a cop. That was a lot of fun, man. You know, Ben Affleck, man, he's really cool to work with. Like, I would. I can't wait to work with him again, actually. But um, uh, it was dope, you know, down there in Boston. You know, we was down there when um when the um I think when when Italy won the soccer cup, the, the World Cup for the soccer um a tournament. Man, that shit oh, was yeah. crazy down there. Can yeah, I, we had a ball. Can I tell you when you got shot? I'm 40 years old today. If they would have just said at the end of the episode, "All right, we take it back. He's alive." 
I would have accepted it. I have never been so depressed. Yeah. And fucking David Chase it kicked everybody in the balls. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't a big gunfight we were expecting. Uh, it wasn't a big war with with uh, uh, you and Jamie Hector. Marlo, it was just yeah. Yeah, Jamie Hector. Just yeah. you getting shot because that's the way it happens. Yeah. And even the cops' reaction. It wasn't like fans. They were like, yeah, oh Omar, oh okay, and they moved yeah. on. It was fucking horrible. Yeah. It was horrible. That yeah. was a bummer, man. Really depressing, man. I, I, yeah, it kind of got me a little bit. So you know, it, when, it, when actually the day of, you know, it was, it was you know, you know, but it, I guess you know, a character like that, you had to, you had, it, it had to go out like that, you know. Yo, but, um, yo Mike, can I you had can fun you do playing that for sure? What's the whistle you did, man? Every time I try to say, what were you whistling every time? What were you whistling? Every time you whistle in the neighborhood, the, it, most people think it's the farmer and the Dell because yeah. you know, um, cause, uh, the the G stands alone, you know. Yeah, but actually, yeah. in my mind, what I'm whistling is another uh, Looney Tunes uh, cartoon by a character named Elmer Fudd, and he used to he used to whistle a hunting we will go, ah. a hunting we will go. Ah. It's rabbit season. Remember that ah. little nigga? Ah. <laughs> nice. Ah. Yeah, that was hot, man. So yeah. that's what Omar be whistling. He be whistling Elmer Fudd, Elmer Fudd, a uh, uh, hunting we will go. Hey, are you frustrated? Because once again, uh, it, it's it's almost like a running joke that fucking how disgraceful the Emmys are yeah. that they don't they don't not only is the wire never won if you guys have never been nominated for an Emmy correct nope. yes it's, correct. Disgra it's disgraceful it's, yeah. it's so obvious that it's something other yeah. than the merit of the show because everybody who sees it knows it's the best show on television yep. it's fucking brilliantly acted the writing was brilliant Sick. the storylines were brilliant Sick. uh even the way they took you out which was just it was just oh, like the the, the drug that you get covered up with the sheet and that's the end of it we as the audience invested so much love and time yeah. and in the end it was just dead and another number i mean amazing the emmys have, are, are should be fucking firebombed for never recognizing yeah, they should be. michael what do you think that's all about you know, I I I don't I don't you know I I don't try to plug into it. If I if I go too hard, it'll it'll, it'll lead me to start questioning myself as an actor. And I, and I know clearly I, it has nothing to do with with me. It's, as I know it's political, but uh you know I will say you know it it did it did hurt it did to kind of like it stunned me a little bit this this year. I got you know kind of pierced my my armor. Normally, I don't pay any attention to the other years, but for some reason on um, this year because I know there's there's no next year. I guess. It kind of, um, yeah, it hurt a little bit this year. You yeah. know, I feel I'm got myself here wondering what did we not do correctly <laughs> to, Was it to, because to you... earn, you know, to be worthy of a, of a nomination. But I, I know in my heart of hearts that it has nothing to do with us as actors uh, or our talent uh... or the hard work that we put down in in Baltimore. And and, and, tough, and, and you guys let me know that. Not, not, you know what I'm saying? The, 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 the amount of love and, and admiration I've gotten over the years in this character from from just people whether you be in the business whether you're whether you're an interviewer or not just the amount of love we've gotten i know that the show was worthy of that you guys make me know that and um and it's and i take all the love and all the fun i've had to just talking doing interviews and talking about you know, all the crazy things i had to talk about involving omar i've had a ball these past five years and to me i'm going to take those good memories i'm going to make that my emmy you know what i mean and keep it moving that's you know yeah, yeah. Business is. and, and my yeah. Thick skin, baby. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> here for the long haul. I'm, ass uh, I'm assuming that you're just completely blowing up after after your performance on the wire. You, you gotta be man, you getting know, a million off. God's ears. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah, yeah. come too far to turn back now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Turn too far. You were yeah, supposed I'll take that. To, what was it? Six episodes? You said you were supposed to do. They just had Only you as a six. peripheral character, and then all of a sudden the character was just so interesting, and there was this this whole. It was like a Robin Hood in a weird way, but it wasn't a hokey Robin Hood. It was a believable guy who just yeah. had a set of morals and a code that he lived by, but happened to carry a shotgun and fucking steal dope. Yeah. 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 And, and, I went to and, like, and, and, and the thing is, is, you like men. I was like, oh, this dude's kissing dude. He is the baddest homosexual ever. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a I want to be gay with a shotgun, son. You know, Michael, <laughs> that, the, kissing, the kissing was definitely a little rough, but... <laughs> when, when Michael K. kisses, it's a whole different ball game. Huh? What do you say, Michael? 
I said, well, rough for you, imagine what I had to deal with, man, for, uh, 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 my, my, in my career, uh. I, it would say, here lies on uh, Michael K. Williams, his first on-screen camera kiss was with another man. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I, I, look, I would assume your, I, I would assume your boys are like, they give you a little, little something, something for that, huh? <laughs> Listen, did you yeah, I mean, in the first, the first year when, 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 when the initial shock, when it first hit, it was like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me tell you for a scene on that show, I would let him finish his I fucking. <laughs> but, you know, by, the, by the second, third season, I think everybody pretty much had forgotten about it. Actually, became so it became like no, it was it was like for so what? Matter of fact, after like by the third season, no one was talking about that. I think by the middle of the first season, people like once people saw it and got used to it. The character, who you were, overtook it, and it didn't matter. Nobody gave a shit. That was just like a peripheral or, or, or a separate personality trait. The main thing was that when Omar showed up with that long coat, no matter how warm it was out, and a, and a sawed-off <laughs> shotgun, uh, there was going to be a problem. And I think that's what people focused on. Oh, man. I think I think that's absolutely correct. I think at the end of the day, I tell people, you know, the last thing you're gonna remember Omar for is who he went to bed with, you know, which is the way it should be in real life, you know. But uh, yeah, yeah. Right Ross on. wanted to ask you something. Don't no, forget, I fucked up. What'd you fuck up? Uh, <laughs> so I, I'm sorry that Godfrey cut you off. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know it's my mistake. Uh, this is a. <laughs> Yo, yeah, my, crazy. Show, my wife uh, is like a little white girl from Canada, and it's also her favorite show on TV. It's just, I just want to say you brought a lot of enjoyment into our lives. We would watch the show, and it was like a drug for us. We would do three or four episodes a night. We couldn't stop watching it. And Michael, we're all, making, we're all making the same uncomfortable face at Rich that you're making listening to him. Uh, <laughs> when he says, when he says. I know you love the show. No, I always tell everybody the wires are bad. Get the wire. You do. I'm like a fucking publicist well, for the wire. You are a big fan. Rich, what? you really added a lot. That's all we're saying. No, I just made a mistake before I cut him off by accident. You added Sorry. a lot. He, no, he, I don't mind. Nah, but, but, nah. I mean, it, it don't cut off. Listen, man. It's, 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 been a, it's been a good ride. We have fun. We have fun down there in Baltimore. At this point. And, and, and that's, what, that's what we do. My issue wasn't that You know something? Oh. Hey, Jimmy, guess what, though? I'll tell you this. Um, um, guess who? Guess whose birthday was yesterday from the cast? Um, I don't know. I'm going to go with Bubs. Wood Harris. Wow, Bubs, good answer. That's mm -hmm. Andre Royal's birthday was yesterday. Who said uh, that? Oh, yeah, that was Andre, Andre Royal. I hope he got that, but uh, I was thinking it. <laughs> we had, we had, I don't know his real name. Andre Will. Okay. Andre yeah, we had him in. Yeah, we had him in. He was great. He was great. We had a lot of the guys in. Him and Tristan came in together. Yep. Uh, uh we had. Tristan uh, just had a birthday too. You know that, right? How Tristan's old was he? Like 16? Tr no, Tristan's gotta be like 19. The Chris Tristan turned either 19 or 20, uh, about three or four days ago. This, this week. This week just passed. We had, uh, Chris in. I can't pronounce his, uh, his, what's his real name? A guy who played Chris? His real name is Tristan Wiles or, 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 or Banger. Oh, Banger, yeah, yeah, he, he was in, and we had, uh, we had, uh, Isaiah in, and, uh, a friend of mine is dating, he came to a show I did, uh, uh, Reginald, he played the, uh, the assistant, he's bald now, he played the assistant to Carchetti. Oh, uh, the assistant to Carchetti, and he's bald now, oh, I don't know what's his real name, but he's talking he about, the mustache, right? yeah, the mustache, the mustache, the curly hair, the curly hair, oh, no, oh, oh, brown skin brother, boys. Reginald, yeah, boys, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reginald, yeah. Yeah. He was in the corner, too. He played like a junkie in the corner. A lot of those guys, it's amazing yes, that the flip well, through roles that they had yeah. in the corner yeah. now were completely yeah. opposite the wire. Well, yeah. one of the guys was from Oz, too, the dude that was playing point all the time. He he was on Oz. Yeah. Uh, well, Seth, Seth, dude. Seth Gilliam, too, was from Oz. Seth, yeah, the, yeah, Seth, yeah. And one, yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. one of the dudes used to be a, a doorman at Caroline's, uh, Barksdale. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Uh, oh, my God, uh, he's British. Yeah, Dominic? Uh, no, 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 not him. It's his elbow. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, 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 yeah. He's like a DJ in London too, a big, yeah. big time DJ. He's a huge DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's doing, yeah, he's doing, yeah. He's, 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 he's a DJ here in the, in the states as well yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. at the end of season three, uh, I don't, I'm not going to pronounce his name right, brother. Uh, I want to say Faison. Am I right? Oh, Faison, Frankie Faison. Uh, no, when you were killed, when you guys shot him together at the end of season three. That's actually Michael Potts. He plays Brother Muzon. Oh, Muzon. Oh, Muzon, yes. oh, right. That was one of the best oh, scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I, this is not... I know you call in and we're just giving you our favorite scenes. <laughs> with like fucking bunch of children. 
<laughs> yeah, Mike, we've we've discussed yeah. birthday. What the hell? We've discussed yeah, Omar we... forever on this uh, damn yeah, show. Man. Man. Omar, he's in one of my bits on stage. I used to see talented black actors that don't rap. Uh, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Oh yeah, I'm a black man. I just want to let you know, I'm representing uh, the black people right here. Did you, you have a Sam? Did you have a favorite season out of all five? This is Rich Foss again. Uh, I also did Apollo <laughs> three Apollos. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he means the you space show. <laughs> what he say? What he say? You asking me what's my favorite season? Yeah, yeah I asked Rich Foss. <laughs> Oh, my, well, I think my favorite season would have to be uh, four. Yeah, four I love I love the uh, the, the kids, the, the storyline with the, with the kids and what they go through, man, oh, and, yeah. and the school system. Yeah. That's, I would say that's uh, my far my my favorite. And a lot and of, for that reason, a lot of guys from Baltimore said that the reason reason the wire was so good because you guys made it. It was exactly like that. That's what made it so good. People yeah. from Baltimore are like that's yeah. exactly how that shit was. Well, yeah. that, we heard rumors. Yeah. We heard rumors. You guys would hear like gunfire every once in a while, real gunfire yeah. on set and Boy, stuff. Yeah. Is Absolutely. That true? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. Oh yeah. Well, sh I mean, shoot. Um, it, it got. Um, we had some guns. They was um, busting guns. Um, I just wrapped a, a did a movie with um, um, Antoine Fuqua. We shot it in Brooklyn. Um, with Brooklyn Don Cheadle, Westy Snipes. Yeah, um, we do Brooklyn Spiders out there. In, in, yeah, in um in, in in Brownsville, man, we had a, a shootout scene on Wesley and me. And, what? That's gonna be Yo. cool. Wesley's back. He paid the oh. taxes. <laughs> yeah, I can't get the story. We, 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 you know, say we we, we, we we gangsters in Brooklyn. You know what I mean? It's up Don Cheeto, Wesley, and myself, Ooh. and we started we started busting shots. And yo, know, the whole projects came outside. Next thing you know, you're in the. Bah, bah, bah. I'm like, yo, get out! <laughs> yo, I don't know what it is about the hood, but they get excited when they hear gunshots. It's like what with them bus days. It's guns. like the Fourth of July in Iraq. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I pulled the blanks. Hey, it's somebody's birthday! Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> so Don Cheadle's in this too. Oh. Don Cheadle, oh, man. Yeah, Don Cheadle, Wesley yeah. Snipes, uh, Richard Gere, and Ethan Hawke. Whoa, that's and gonna be hot. So you're really oh, uh, at Wee Bay. You remember? You remember Wee Bay? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Johnson. Yeah, yeah. 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 I it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We all play some. Who are you playing? Who are you playing? Who are you playing? Red. Who's red? My character's red. name is Red. I'm red. You red? You read the script? Yeah. yeah red. Nah. This is for that shit. Get you, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know what? I love it when guys like you get those roles because I'm like, this dude is the most one of the most talented dudes around, man. You the shit, man. That's real. Absolutely. It's real shit. Yeah, thank you, you, you brother. Bad motherfucker. Hey, Michael, you. this was a pleasure for Jimmy's birthday. Michael K. Williams. What, what's the next thing we're gonna see in? Um, I think in September I got the new Spike Lee joint coming out, uh, Miracle of St. Anna. Uh, oh, September. yeah. That's the war movie, and then right? I got the, road, the war movie about the yeah. Buffalo Soldiers. In, the in and Italy. Then I got the road coming out in November with uh, Vigo Mortensen and Charlize Theron. Oh, good. So you're doing That's some the, real the, work. The great, Carmen man. McCarthy book, huh? It's great to see you really working. Godfrey said you're blown up. It's great to see whoa, you whoa, doing whoa. films after I, that. I just read The Road. You're, they're making oh. that into a movie? Oh, it's done already. It'll be out on my birthday in November. And, and the road is the, the road uh, really fast. And Entertainment it. Weekly uh, called it the best book of the last twenty five years, and I, I, I literally just finished it. What part are you playing in that? Um, I play cart man. I'm the thief with the cart. Oh, okay, right on, man. Yeah, that's, that's an actor. That that's gonna be a good film. I'm thinking. Well, you gotta yeah. come in to promote it, man. Because uh, we really, we, you're, you're the one guy we've been trying to get you in for so long. We're, we're really fans of the show and fans of your work. We would love to get you in here. And we're just basically a fucking room full of dopey fanboys yeah. who will promote anything you're doing. Because we really, we, I, I don't think. I, Listen, I'll bring my six pack and we can sit there and chop it up. It ain't no problem. Yeah, come in, man. I don't think my uh, Michael. I don't think Norton uh, made it clear enough. We're absolutely not gay, but we would, we would, we would take a tongue, uh, a tongue kiss from you. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's, <laughs> that's that's how. <laughs> not because it's cause we're not gay, but I mean. That's how much we love you, motherfucker. <laughs> Shit, for an autograph, I'll let you and smack we, me in the face with your penis. That's what I'm saying. And, and we'll let Jimmy wow. go. And, Damn, by the way, and, and, that was God for you again. Rich would let anybody smack his face with a dick <laughs> <laughs> for anything. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yo, yo, wow. You heard? You Mike, heard? Thank you so much for calling. Oh, yeah, that, by the way, before you go, great scene. 
uh, uh, with uh, you and Bunk in season three on the bench. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what, actually, that's one of my favorite scenes, actually. Yeah, I, like, you know, there's my window. Window and I, whenever I know I, I got to do things at Window or, 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 or S. Roberts, who play, who plays, um, who play Butchie or, or Proposition and Joe. Whenever I had work with oh. those three guys, for some reason, I just like, I would just make sure I would cross all my, my T's and dot all my I's because those dudes would bring it and I just made sure, like, I, you know what I mean? Just, I was really excited to have seen those guys, man. It was a good day in the office. Well, you were great. Some good work. Yeah. He, ha he had most of the dialogue in that scene and then you just, as he's walking away, you just spit. What was probably the fucking biggest loogie ever spit on film? <laughs> <And> it, <laughs> it was. I, it was just great. It was just. I know that sounds like a real. Anyone yeah, yeah. didn't see it, but that yeah. spit at the end. Yeah. You showed your disgust with what he had said. His it was spit great. was better mm -hmm. than my whole acting. Period. Yeah. This is spit. One, one more thing. This is Rich Foss uh, from White Boys in the Hood. Showtime at the Apollo. Uh, <laughs> if you're in Atlantic City tomorrow, I'll be at Trump Marina if you want to come by. Oh, that's true. At Trump yes. Marina. Exactly. Yeah, so you hear the I'm having my, I'm having my annual coming. black party tomorrow out here in Jersey. So uh, my family and stuff, we're going to be on the block doing, doing, the, doing, the, doing the round the way thing. Word, word. Hey, Michael, I know you're you're a big star, but you would fit in perfectly with the show. you got to come by and, uh, and hang with us one <laughs> no, day. No, seriously, man, seriously. Anytime you you guys, I mean, whenever you guys want to fit me in, man, Jim, we, we work something out and I come up there. Yeah, come in person, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm bring, I, now, mind you, I hope you can smoke up there. I'll bring my, bring, I'll bring my cush now. We good? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you we'll can do, do what you want. We'll, yeah. We'll yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't have bosses right now. You can do whatever the fuck you want. I'm already playing. I ain't going to lie y'all like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Th dude, thanks for calling. It really meant a lot to, to hear from you because I'm such a fan and all the guys are fans. That's and, cool, and thank man. you so much for taking the time. We really appreciate it. No doubt, man. Once again, Jimmy, happy birthday, man. God bless. All right. Thanks a lot, Michael. All right, buddy. Be there well. he goes. Michael K. Williams. Yeah, Mike. Omar from The Wire. Woo! How fucking cool That's is that, great. Jimmy? That, that was the, the best shit. fucking character that, on you. Yeah. That was the shit. Why don't we get another song from Sabracadabra, and then we got your next surprise here. Oh, you guys have more surprises? Yes. Sabracadabra playing tomorrow night, the Surf Club, 1900 Ocean Avenue, Ortley Beach, New Jersey, 732-793-6625. And what's uh, the website for you guys? Sabracadabra.com. Very easy. Two bees. Nice. Two bees or not two bees, Jimmy? Yeah, say BB and Cadabra. All right. Uh, <laughs> let's get another song from the guys, and then your next uh, surprise will be in studio. Sabracadabra, okay. everyone. Yeah. Come on. Let's hear it for Sabracadabra. Sabracadabra.com for little Jimmy Norton's birthday. Thank you, guys. Look, killing yourself to live. Fucking fantastic. They're playing all of Jimmy's favorites. I'm so fucking happy. I know you are. I, I, in the middle of that, I just wrote fucking Omar and showed Jimmy on a piece of paper. That, you have no idea how happy that, that made That really was fucking... That was the shit. And Remember that scene? Remember that scene? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a bunch of unprofessional fucking we all, zeros. We all Remember? turned into fanboys. Yeah, it was great. That was pretty cool, man. Yeah. I didn't feel bad about that one. No, he was great, though. He was he's, really cool, He's dude. really humble. He's real shit. That's yeah, what I love absolutely. That's cool. Who is it? Louis C.K.? <laughs> Louis, what's up, Louis? He's taking a big long shit. It's Michael yeah. K. and now it's Louis C. K. Who is here? Who is who's Omar? From the, the Wire. wire. Oh, know is that who? Is. Yeah, I fucking but the, know that with dude. the shotgun and you shit. You know him? Was he here? No, he was on the phone. Fuck it, Louis. How do you know him? <laughs> he was in the movie I wrote with Chris. Uh, I think I love my Michael life. K. Williams. You know? Wait, he was in that movie? Yeah. Oh yeah, he uh. In, in yeah, he plays, he plays, he's in D.C., in right? DC. Yeah, he walks How in, about yeah. pulling some fucking strings? I'm a huge fan, Lou. Pull some strings for what? To know. get him in studio. You're a fan, but I don't like you, so there's no connection. There. <laughs> nice. Fair enough. You see? I, we should have got the invite. To, Boy, we should have got the invite to Omar's uh, block party that's happening in Jersey. I didn't say that, but I, 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 we're, are we going to go to Newark and, like, fuck. Gonna do he's, he's, in Newark? he's in Newark? I don't know where he I is. I only have his numbers. It's that he was in a movie I wrote, and I met him once. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What? What? He was nice to me. The block party. Where do you think it's in Princeton? Of course, it's in Newark. I don't know if it's in Newark. Yeah, oh, what do you think it's going to be? Not a joke, man. It's in Bel Air. You were really on the Apollo? Yeah, three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Russell Simmons didn't remember. They so how why they asked him. There's, a hundred, there's him two hundred comics that did that clip. What? But oh, now we got the clip. Of we what? asked Russell Simmons about you. I so Shut up! We're going to play the clip. Wow! You just said it ten times. We're going to play the clip. Go ahead. Let's go. Let's let's oh, embarrass shit. Rich Voss. Do you know Rich Voss? <laughs> Who is that? Thank you. <laughs> good. Is a you just made our day. Right? I just made that. our day. Rich Voss. We're gonna end with a light note here. He was the first white uh, comic on on Def Jam. Jam. 
Really? I want ah, to hug him. This I is won. great. I've never been happier. Rich has done nothing but pound this down our throats forever. <laughs> well, He's well, a friend of the show. Steve Harvey was guest hosting. Yeah. Really? And yeah. he was, and you brought, he was the, I don't know if he was first. No, he, yeah, was. he, he was. He, was he like says, that. he's been saying. Was he? He, he, was he, he got introduced as that. Steve Harvey introduced him as that. Um, and afterwards, it was very funny. After Voss was finished, he goes, all right, now we're even. Like, you know, Voss. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, there's a I'm picture so of him, Russell. I've never seen him before. Oh, 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 Ross, you right. zero. You're nothing, Rich. <laughs> you Russell stink. doesn't remember you as the first white guy in a show. I, I got a bad happier. memory. Maybe that was... No, no, no you have a no, great no, memory. No, He's you not don't. memorable. Me. You have a perfect memory. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> uh, look on Google. Everyone's on Google. You Google horse shit. I guarantee you. It, it <laughs> Rich Foss comes up. <laughs> and here we are back live. There wow, Rich. So we had Russell yeah, in and we asked Google him about you. Google shit. Yeah. <laughs> Funny as hell. Showed him a picture. Everything. Oh. Yeah, well, when did you do Dead Camp? I never did. Oh, okay, the black guy. <laughs> oh, uh, so uh, nice. That's all right. Wow, well, you I really... You really got Godfrey. Yeah, he really no, got me. We talked about really got him with that one. We, talk, we talked about it earlier. He's on every other commercial on TV. You really got him with that one. So Scott LaRose, look where he is now. Scott LaRose. Ugh. All right, we got Godfrey LaRose. in the studio. We got Louis C.K. in studio. <laughs> Sabra Cadabra. Yeah. Jim Norton's birthday and a big surprise after I the break. I have to tinkle. I hope nobody minds. Well, make sure he doesn't <laughs> see the big surprise. Hide whatever the surprise is <laughs> because Jim has to tinkle. We, he has we, to make piss come out of his cock. That's we exactly want to do the big reveal live on the show, so stay on there. His birthday. This is Dr. Phil. Uh, even without the yellow treats and the trannies and the crinkle, crinkle paper bags on the feet in rest stop men's rooms, what we have here with this Norton character is a child's garden of perversion and dysfunction. You do know that, right? I mean, monster rain? What the hell ever happened just playing cowboys and Indians, huh? Or stick ball or, or candy land for Christ's sake? Happy Jimmy Day to the funniest, most talented comic working today. Not you. What is it? Huh? Oh my. Oh. Wait. Ah, God, nothing's going right. Problem? Why the fuck would we come back with this? Why not? This is the fucking surprise guest, you asshole. No one would know. Why else would we play Chubby Checker coming out of a break? I don't know. You got a Chubby Checker coming in a few minutes, Jimmy. Anyway, welcome back to the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I think he might have just thought it was an obscure kind of song. Fuck no. Come back with, with. What, after four years of satellite radio, we're going to come back with a Chubby Checker fucking... We've done that. Uh, no, we haven't. Oh yeah. Ever. Jimmy's not stupid. Yeah, we, he go, is. we go to break. We go I'm to not. break saying we got a very special guest for Jim Norton, and then the first thing you hear before we go live is the Chubby Checker song. Would you have put two and two together there? What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, bring Club Soda Kenny in here. It's uh, the Opie and Anthony show We're celebrating Jim Norton's birthday. We got a huge crowd outside. You guys having fun or what? Yeah. They're in the darkness. For some reason, we decided to turn the lights down, so they're just shadows out there. But, uh, hey, uh, guys, for coming uh, to Jimmy's birthday celebration, we're going to give everybody a pair of tickets to the uh, virus show August 2nd at PNC, Homedale, New Jersey. Tickets through Ticketmaster. We got all the guys. Rich Voss is going to be performing. Jim Norton, Patrice O'Neill, Bob Kelly, Otto and George, uh, and uh, many, many others. So August 2nd is the show, PNC Bank Art Center, but you guys all get a free pair of tickets to the show. Also, we got Sabra Cadaver here. Uh, we're going to make believe that uh, Jimmy doesn't know who the surprise uh, guest is because we got the lovely Jill Nicolini coming back in from the CW. CW11. Where's Jill? And here he is, oh. Mr. Checker. Chubby Checker. It's Chubby Checker. Oh, hi, I'm Jim. Thank you for coming. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Chubby Checker. Chubby Checker. Thank you very much, sir. Enjoy, because not only is he going to get. Thank you very much. Why would that mic work? How does Chubby Checker like look? Did the mic so not good. work? No, it's not. The working. mic doesn't of course work. Not. Why would? Been around forever. <laughs> yes. Yeah. What's yeah. going on? Yes. Yeah, sit down, please. Do we have an extra? Hold on. Do we have, we have to there get a go. mic that works? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you so much. That works. 
So it's a wonderful being here. Thank you. You look really good, sir. For allowing me to be among the dudes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank I just laughed. Thank uh, you. Uh, <laughs> to be among the young lions. You know, that's cool. Are you on the, uh, are you on the road or no? <laughs> I'm always on the road. Look on look on chubbychecker.com. We got gigs all over the place. In fact, I'm doing the, the morning show tomorrow on CBS. And after that, we're going to go to Newark Airport. I'm going to get on a plane. I'm going to be in Kansas, and the car's going to pick me up. I'm going to join the Wildcats, and we're going to do a gig nice. tomorrow night. We've got gigs in on in Virginia on the 26th. We're all booked up next next. How, how many years? How many years, how many years you've been doing this? Since I got out of high school. I graduated high school in 1960 while the twist was being played on the radio, which is kind of cool. And in my yearbook, I'm already chubby checking my year class. And then when I graduated, the twist was being played on the radio, and I've been doing on the road ever since I left high school in 1960. You were a wow. high school kid, and you had a hit record while you were in high school. I had a hit. I had a, a song called "The Class" that was number 34 on the charts when I was in 1958, did when I was get, like did, 17. Oh did you get Did you get <laughs> mad <laughs> mad late in school because of that? Ah, huge no, it, amounts of it was so cool. And, yeah, the, and then and then cool. and, and then we and then in 1959, I thought it was all over, and then we made this song called Twist, you know, and and we did we had to campaign this because we had to go around to all these record hops and all these places to get this music played, and and then the kids started seeing the way I did the dance, and and then it kind of caught on, and and then one thing led to another, and it, and all the, a few radio stations started playing it, and all the kids started requesting it, and then Dick Clark brought me on. American Bandstand, and I didn't know at that moment that the life in in the music industry and everything that was in music was going to change forever. What? It was almost like when Alexander Graham Bell said, Watson, is that you? Because the very minute that we went on on TV and did that song, The Twist, dancing in the world changed forever. It was never to be the same again. Mm. What came first, the song or the dance? Actually, Hank Ballard wrote the song and recorded it. And, and the radio was played the song for a while. And they stopped playing it. Radio is still very powerful. You don't get no play, you get no payday. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. And 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 the twist did not get any airplay, and it was a dead dead issue. And the guys at the record company says, Chubby, let's let Chubby do that song of twist because we really think it's going to be something special. And and they had already did the track and everything. And Dave Apple says, Chubby, uh, come on, and we're going to do the twist. I said, David, I says, he says, just come in here and do it. So I walked from my house all about 20 blocks and went upstairs and I already knew the song and and I sang the song and I we did my daddy's sleeping and then that we finished Dave says chubby want to do it one more time because that daddy's sleeping he says it's a little flat I says David I'm gonna flunk school I'm not gonna graduate my grades are terrible I'm going home and do my homework, and they are never going to know. <laughs> and I left the studio a little, <laughs> little, 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 little did I know. But when I went outside the studio, I had a strange kind of feeling, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, ah, you know. But yeah. he didn't know that it was going to be the only song that became number one twice since God put man on the planet. Yeah. We didn't know that mm. in the 60s there was... The Beatles and Elvis and the British Invasion and Woodstock and Jimi Hendrix and all the rest of the stuff that happened. Motown, the twist is the number one song of the entire 60s. Damn. So you're in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, So happy Frank? birthday, Jimmy. No, <laughs> but that will come. How are you not in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Wait, 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 Chubby, you have to tell them what's happening Wednesday. Wednesday at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, we're going to be at the FYE Record Store at 6.30. It's going to be a free concert there. And I'm debuting my new song, Knock Down the Walls. Now, you guys, oh, knock down the walls. Okay. You, you won't believe it when you hear it because mm -hmm. it's like it's like nothing that you'd ever expect from the Chub. But it's, too, it's, it's the 21st century Chubby Trucker. And, and sometimes I have a hard time believing that I even wrote that song, you know, because the song is so awesome. And, and, uh, Do you get sick of hearing it? Like, all right, everybody requests the, the song from 1960. Ever, are you ever like... Uh, Cause I'm 40 today. Does it, do you ever like get uh, sick of like yeah, people saying, "All right, that song"? The song changed the world. And yeah. you know something? Well. Anyone that goes on this on the floor and does the boogie to anybody's music. Right. Wait, what song changed the world? 
the twist. twist thing. All the twists, right. I'm so not a very old dancer. Do people ever Every say time. that you're in better shape than Jacqueline? I'm looking at you, and you're just so tight. And Ooh. You're, he's, no, oh, he's in good shape, All the people man. at XM, God is with me. He's looking after the chub, taking care of Did me. Did you ever go on those I'm tours, just... too, with a... Uh, with uh, Alan Free, the doo wop tours. You want to know you're in high school when they happen. It's for me. <laughs> it was right before you. Now. It's a Jesus, me, Rich. <laughs> what, is, what do you think? He's as old as you? <laughs> you know, Alan Freed, you know, he was a, he was a pretty great guy, Alan Freed. That's uh -huh. why the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is in Cleveland because of Alan Freed. They got his ashes yeah. there. But, uh, it's great. He is, Another Jew. Good, no, good people. No, what? Hey, oh. Mishpucha. Me too. Mishpucha. Hey. Shalom. What does that Never mean? Mish family. It, oh, yeah. I told him. a banking How can you be a you can't be a heave and not know that. A banking <laughs> I'm not Jewish. You're not Jewish. No, I am. Well, well, we uh, Rich, Rich Voss. Hey, hey, we'll I am, and I didn't know what it meant. He's, he's an Irishman, one of our own birthday, one of our own. It's one of our own lads. Wow. <laughs> Happy birthday, <laughs> Billy. Oh, one of our own lads. That's pretty good. You ought to hear Bob Edwards? do his uh, English accent. <laughs> I was, uh, uh, good gravy. So the new song is, uh, is, is debuting uh, when? Oh. On the 22nd, it's, the official release is on the 22nd. We're going to debut at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, uh, 6.30. Uh, on, 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 that's a Wednesday. It's a free concert. It's in the FYE record store. I want everybody to come there because we're going to kick some butt there. We always kick butt. You know, we do that. Chubby, we've had a very odd selection of guests today. Yeah, we sure uh, have. We have had Sabra Cadabra, who's a Black Sabbath cover band. I'm sure you're cool. a Sabbath fan. Yeah. And, uh, and yourself, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michael K. Williams from The Wire. And, of course, Louis C.K. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's been a very weird day. Yeah. yeah it's been just an assortment. <laughs> the smorgasbord of guests. A lot of different yeah. genres. Uh, yes. Always. Jim Norton well, themes. I, I think... Miss I think... Jim, right. Jim Norton, all well, the things he loves. I think right now, for what was happening with what we're doing with that song, is like... It's like nothing else that's going on like that. Nowhere in the music industry what's right the, now. What song? At all. Knock down the walls. Oh, in no the whole music hey. industry, there's nothing like going on. Like Mr. Chubby, uh, how many times Mr. have you Checkers, I think, isn't uh, it? have you performed the twist? Would you? It's all my life. It's, it's but a how many times do you think you've performed the twist? As many uh, times as Walt Disney does Mickey Mouse. Oof. That's as many times. Let's well, be honest. You're sick of the twist at this no, point. Are you looking? Like, you you got to be sick of the twist. Do you, do you know? Do you have any idea what it means? The how twist? could you be having? How could you ever get sick of having sex? How do you put this? Oh, 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 hey. no, 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 come, 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 hey. come. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> well, you have, you have an orgasm, how many you times can you? Will you be ever sick of having sex? Now let me tell you what the twist is. Right. It's just another word for come on, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's do the twist. Oh, let's fuck. Uh, take. Uh, Come, come, hey, yeah. Yeah, no, take me by my little hand. Take, take me by my little hand, little hand and go penis, right? like this. Yeah, go like this. Oh. My mama's sleeping and dad, daddy's sleeping and mom ain't around. We're going to twist and twist and so, twist so gotta, till oh. we tear oh. the house down. Oh, you get tired of that? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. I you know, so, I, so you got away with one. I you never knew that that was about. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it's about. Why do you think? It's the only sort of be number one twice. It's all, you know something that is the, that song changed that the is world, the nasiest, really. most it means, suggestive, like, it, it means twisting your sexy song that was ever recorded. Right. 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 How did I never catch this? Right. You gotta twist it for because if you can't get hard, if you twist it up, you can still shove it in there. At the end of the song, it says, "Yeah, that's yeah. all right." Yeah. Uh oh. Twist so oh. nice. Twist. <laughs> boom, boom. Oh, wow. Why don't you do a version? Yeah. No, that's money. Ask Rudy Raymore. He does it. Yeah, really? Rudy Raymore does all the nasty twist things. Dolomite, things. yes. I've met Dolomite. He, he does the nasty. How about this guy's disc jockeys? Have you ever heard of an artist having five <laughs> albums on the top 12 <laughs> all at the same time on the charts? Oh, my God. Uh, no. well, well, Foundry did it back no, in the did. day. Not, did Foundry not, certainly not, did. No, no. Oh, sorry, never happened before. Four, sorry, five. never happened before. All right. You yeah. have five <laughs> albums in the top 12. Five <laughs> albums in the top 12, <laughs> all on the charts at the same time. Are you doing sorry, the Ali story, too? Wrong about how, that. Hey, what's, how, up, what's up next, how, by the way? How about the first platinum? How's that? How's it looks that? like uh, Ali's <laughs> old trainer. First platinum. <laughs> I love Chubby Let Chubby. me tell you about Ali. Want to hear about Ali? Yeah. yeah. Tell us about some celebrity I taught Ali how to run his big, fat mouth. Whoa. Did you really? Listen. When he was Cassius? No, true story. Yeah, when he was Cassius. I was in Louisville doing a concert and there he was he and his brother Rudy came in to see me and I just I love I love Ma Ali we're good friends Ali has a brother named Rudy named Rudy yep. yes who and, the fuck and, do and, that and, 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 and they came in to, 
So Ali, you know, Cassius says, you know, I says, he says, you know, I like you. You know, your music's real nice, man. Everything. Yeah. He says, oh, you know, I, I want to be champ. I says, what are you doing here? I says, you should be a movie star, not a fighter. You look too pretty to be getting your face banged up. He said, no, but I want to be champ. I said, so what do you want me to do for you? He said, give me some pointers. Right. Can you may help me because I'm young? And, you know, and I said to him, I says, right, come on, Cassius. baby. I said, I said, Cassius, do the twist. how good are you? He says, uh, this is what he says, I'm the best that ever lived. And I says, really? He says, I said, I know you're good. He said, I'm the, I said, he said, I'm the best that ever lived. I said, I'll tell you what you do. I said, if you're the best, I says, when you go out in the ring mm -hmm. and you look at it and you say, He's going to go down in that round. Can you do that? He said, he thought about that for a while. He said, you know, I said, can you do that? He said, I can do that. So, well, then you'll be the best. I said, but it's not good enough. Right. You're good looking. No one's going to pay any attention to you because sure. you're pretty. You got to run your mouth. You got to, you got to do things to make something happen. You got to get, ex you got to make a big deal out of it. So you and made then, him into who he became. I, look, he already had what he had. And he I was, just showed him how to move it. And you know something? Nothing. When he became he a big star, nothing. he wouldn't tell nobody about it. And you know what? Well, he, he was, was so, nothing. he was so if happy. He hadn't met Chubby hold Checkers. on, hold on. He was so happy yeah. by what you taught him that yeah. he gave you his old hair. <laughs> you look like him, Cassius Clay. You, look you got like the Cassius him. Clay there. You are. You, know, you taught Cassius how to talk. Voss taught Sonny Liston how to be stupid. Uh -huh. oh. I, I really felt sorry for Sonny because Ca no, Cassius came out and he and and he picked up the chub because in the fifth round he's coming out in the, the sixth. He says, "This is it." Yep. And that invisible punch came, and the and the rest of the story. So I, I wrote him a letter about five years ago on his birthday. I says, why didn't you ever tell anybody about that story right. about about what I said? You, you don't want to share your fame with me, huh? But we're very good friends, and and uh, I'm very fr good friends with his family, and right. and we're very good friends. We always yeah. have been. He shows up at a lot of my shows. Did anybody right. open for you that became a real, real big star? Is it hard to talk? Is it hard for you to talk to a man? Is it hard for you to talk to a man whose headset is on like that? It, might, it oh, hurts my other God. ear. I guess. It hurts his ear. Give him. Yeah, yeah, you know. An NFL coach. Did BG's open for you? <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever work with like the Temptations or anybody like that, or Diana Ross or any Motown people? Well, you know, I never worked with Diana and um. Boy, Voss, only, really only, with four, only, only with the four, only, only with the four tops. You work with the four, yeah. yeah. Wow. I just did a show with Sticks and a show with. Uh, uh, oh, I just did a concert with Sticks and Kansas and, and, uh, and Grassroots Boston. Humble Humble Lady, Journey. Night Night Ranger. I just did a show with them up in Journey. Northern Love Michigan. Big big concert it was Love really cool. Sticks yeah. and who else? Journey and uh, Grassroots. Grassroots. Yeah. I don't know yeah. them. I know I know sticks. Yeah, the sticks. Yeah, I, I, I like them. They kind of jumped the shark after they did uh, the Mr. Roboto stage Mr. show. Let's be honest, oh, Chubby. Nobody oh, liked it. Oh, you know, <laughs> nobody oh, liked them acting it out. It was a little weird. Yeah, was a little well, strange. you know, people make mistakes. You could, you could do, you know. I know, but I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, by the way, I want everyone too. out there to pray for my wife because she's not doing well. She was oh, in the hospital. She just what? got out. So, what happened? Pray for Rena. Pray for my girl Rena because she's not doing too well. Is she gonna be alright? What happened? I think she'd be okay. She's, you know, she got a little something in her neck, and they go to the doctor, and so you know, pray for my girl. I've been. Is she gonna be alright? We've been hanging out since 1964. Wow. You know, so. Are you worried? It's a long time. Of course I'm worried. You know, if you live with somebody a long time like that, you know, they kind of, you know. So anyway, yeah. I just wanted to bring it up. So when you think of the chub, think of my girl, and say a little prayer for her, okay? Right. You ever get sick of the recognition? You ever get sick of the recognition or people? Uh, I mean, obviously people flock you because you're chubby checker. Does it ever get to be irritating where you just want to be kind of left alone? Well, you know, it doesn't really bother me because you know, without I hate it when they do it. I hate it when they don't. That's Holla. the best way to to do that Holla. because you know, without the people, I'm nothing. And and you know if they're not listening to your show you're nothing. So Even they're very, them they're, nothing. no, they're very yeah, valuable. No, no, they're very <laughs> valuable. People are very valuable, and I I take a, a great pride in having. I came out of the, the studio this morning, and there were twenty people with my abs and everything. And I said, I'm signing some of them, and let's sign some, and then the next time we'll see each other again. Sign the other ones. Yes, but I can tell you something. It's wonderful to have fans, and and believe me, I I I, I embrace. You know them, be, them admiring me, and, and I, I, I can't get tired of that. I can't get tired of that. You're a very interesting guy. I got to say that. You're certainly not like anybody we've had in before. I would love to get a picture with Chubby. Ch I'm 40 years of young. Of course, 40, uh, 40 years. years old. Shut hey, up. I don't hear that about hey, 40 years hey, old. What? You're just a baby, Mr. You Chucker. haven't even started I'm a, nothing yet. I'm becoming an older gentleman. No, you're not. It not hasn't yet. happened yet. When it happens, you know, it's in your head. Don't 
Let it get you. I'm a bit nervous. Don't be nervous. As long as everything's working, you're in service. Jimmy, I Jimmy, I got to ask uh, Mr. Chuck, uh, check or something. Uh, Hurricane Katrina, you lo you lost a lot. Now, see, you think I'm Fats Domino. Everybody think I all the... Hey, oh, hey, hey, Jesus, hey, okay. Hey, 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 think all the black guys look the same. That's right. Unbelievable. Chubby's grabbing my arm. No, no, hey, 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 they go, hey that's, that's Fats Domino. That's not Chubby Checker. Of course oh, it is. Oh, I'm sorry. And it's Blake saying, oh, Mr. he says, I know you had trouble with this Katrina. I says, that's Fats Domino. I go in the airport, guess what they say? What? What do they Mr. say? Hey. Mr. Barry, Freeze. I said I'm no, no, Mr. Barry. Barry. <laughs> lady said, lady says to me, she says, she says, oh, there's Charlie Pride. I says, thank you, ma'am. You know his cousin Marvin Barry? <laughs> I get all that. <laughs> it's so annoying. I get that all yeah. the time too. It's like, hey, Mr. Pitt, Mr. Cruz. <laughs> oh. 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 Ah, come on, Jimmy. Jimmy, you have the hey, Chubby, laughing. they only call me Mr. Cruz in a rest area. <laughs> <laughs> Is there any way we could get you to do a little twist with uh, Sour Cadaver? I don't know. Oh. I don't want to put you on the spot. I understand. Let's but... tell you what. That would cost ten thousand. Won't you? You gonna? You gonna? Ten thousand dollars to play 10, the? Yes. That mic doesn't work. Hold on, put the mic at work. Is that all, Gary? Gary? Is that it? Is that well, well, that's cool. without me. He's got to be the Jewish guy. I mean, that's it. Hey, I'm a Jew. Wait, wait, wait. I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew. I can see. I get. I get. I get. I'm a Jew. What does this guy say? I'm a Jew. Hold on. Let's see. Ten thousand dollars will do the twist. Yeah. Well, yo. You. Well, this was discount. This was twenty thousand to come in studio. So you owe us ten. All right. All right. So play the new record. We'll be even. We're the good old boys. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars we get the you, you got my new jam? What do you for, got for on you? For about five thousand, sure. What do you got on you? <laughs> you got any money? What do you got? You didn't charge us on the CW11 this morning. That mic doesn't work, Jill. Oh, I know you're still trying, but sure, talk to and I only told the guys. Oh, because we had ago. Chubby obviously on the CW11 this, morning news here is this working still? in oh, yeah. New York, yeah, yeah, and yeah. we Unfortunately. didn't charge you. You know, that's his girlfriend. You didn't charge us. No. <laughs> that's his uh -uh. girlfriend. Yeah, I know. That's his girlfriend, and I was saying, I says, <laughs> are you in good shape for that? I says, are you doing sit-ups? Are you doing? She's lip, a lovely girl. I mean, yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, you got to stay in good shape. I'm worried about you. You what, might and die. And what is, no, you got to stay in good shape. You got, hey, guys, Plus. you got the key of E going on? The key of E? Key of E. <laughs> oh, you got it? And I want the bass to give me some eighth notes, some punk stuff. Oh, damn. We might get something going on here. No, it's, mm. no, it's got to sound like more like... Listen, listen, listen. Do 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 Watch for the changes and try right, to keep up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I, I don't want, I don't want to hear no do. Pop, pop, pop. This is what it's going to be like if Barack is president. On, I want straight on Rolling Stones. I want straight on Melon Camp. I want to. Yeah, but now, but now you got to pick it up. You got to pick it up fast. Let me hear it. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, all right, let's see. Chubby's getting up. Let me hear you. Yeah. Oh, once again. When I cut down, I want to cut. One, two, three, ha! Huh. <laughs>
Cadabra, <laughs> so so perfect. You think he sang the song now, five thousand times? What, 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 what I want them to hear? Wow! I want them to hear the wrong. contrast between that and their live. That, that was forcing that, them to that, do that. That, that was the amazing. Contrast well, that was amazing. That and knocked on the wall. That's what you need to do. That's hear. right. It's coming now, back. That, and uh, I'm a man of my word, but we got to one second go to the phone because it's Jimmy's birthday. We got a huge celebrity, and then I I'm with the, you. then the payoff. I'm here with you. Can someone get this you is a present, Jimmy. Uh, Jim, Jimmy, I want you to say hi. Who's this? This is a present from me, Jimmy. Hi, who's this? Hey, hey, Jimmy. Yes. Yeah, it's me. It's Alan Alda. I got him to call you. What? Uh, it's Alan Alda. I got to call you. Alan? Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. This is Jimmy. A... Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Alan. I introduced you to Alan, right? Yes, you did. And I got him to call you for your birthday. Yeah. Do you remember signing my picture? Absolutely. I'm a, uh, I'm a fan, and, uh, and uh, you're a fan. And, uh, and not only that, but we have a personal uh, connection. What's our connection? Yeah, well, not only... Uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, I'm a fan, but uh, I actually shit in your mother's cunt. <laughs> Jesus. You know, Alan, that's not Alan Alda, that was Alan Funk. <laughs> the great oh, Alan Alda. He said that. Wow. Alan Alda. I don't think Alan works so blue. <laughs> it's Brian McFadden. He's, he's a Brian McFadden. Oh, uh, Brian McFadden. Hey, what's up, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Brian, I was talking about you recently. Uh, <laughs> Because uh, Brian's the one I told you is in that Coke. Is, are you in a Coke Zero commercial? Yes. Uh, Brian does all these uh, uh, these voices. fucking voiceovers. He's a really funny comedian, <laughs> and his dad is uh, what Frankenberry, right? Yeah. His dad was, was, on, on, Berry, yeah. was on a Von Meter album. <laughs> What's that? Right exactly. On a Von Meter album, yeah. his father. I Brian, sure. where where are you this weekend? <laughs> I'm in Atlantic City at right. the Tropicana. Okay. The comedy stop at oh, the Drop. Okay. Where's Bradley? Too? I thought it would last longer. But it's hilarious. <laughs> all right, Brian. Good job, man. Thanks a lot, Brian. Take care, bro. All right, let's get let's get back. I thought it would last longer if he had really been on the hook and then he yeah. said that to him that would have been awesome but I don't think you believed it let's get of back, course not let's get back to of the, course not let's get back uh, sounded like Ellen Combs let's get back to the Chubster the Chubster okay. with the twist now uh, Chubby Checker what's the name of the song we got it in the uh, the old CD player here knock, knock down the walls and we're going to hear this for the first time have, first time knock ever down no it's, down. it's been played around but you haven't alright knock down the walls knock, by knock down the walls and you're playing Checker. this in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yes definitely along at, the, at the FYE at on FYE FYE on Wednesday, 23rd, 6.30, free concert at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right in the building at FYE. And FYE is selling all my records, by the way. Oh, right. good. So, and, uh, and we have, and our red is our distribution, and it's going to be at um, Circuit City and Best Buy and Walmart. So okay. we're, we're out there, so you're not playing some dead stuff. And, and I just, this song, the contrast between the twist and this, it scares me, but... It right. seems to work because we're getting a lot of airplay. Good. Hey, that's very cool. Did you used to like drive a tour bus naked? I always. Oh. Whoa, what? Is that a bad one? Well, almost. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a Why? bad? That's the stuff people want to hear about. Well, the thing is, you know, sometimes we we do a show and and we have to make it. Then the, the drivers, you know, have to have sleep. And I've got my half of my clothes on because you know I've left the fans and. And I just get behind the wheel and do about three or four hours so the driver can get some sleep. Because it's, it's not odd to see me behind the tour bus driving it because I'll do it. What's, why should they have all the fun? But I'll you have to do it of... naked for everybody? Well, sometimes a little air yes. comes in. Sometimes it makes you feel good. Sometimes it takes some clothes off. Now I know why they call you Chubby. you got I'm a nice piece, right? <laughs> Chubby's got a piece. That's right. All right, here's uh, Tear Down the Wall. You knock said? Down the Wall. Knock Down the Wall. I'm sorry. The, the brand wall. new one from Chubby Checker, Knock Down the Wall. Knock it down. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, I'm mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold on. Here it is. Knock down the wall. Uh, pretty good. It's it's good. Wow. I what a raising. departure. Yeah. You sound great, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's great, man. Quite the departure. It's going to be a big hit. Is uh, John Hughes going to use that in the next teen uh, movie that he does? <laughs> How's that kind of John Hughes, right, teen movie uh, feel to it? You have to say anything where Cusack lifts up. Yeah. yeah good. Sure. Knock Turns down the wall. The Is this off the new CD, uh, All the Best? Yes. Yes, it says some of the old stuff and some new stuff, what right? We did, we, there's the twenty, there's the twentieth century there on one side, mm-hmm. and on the blue side, the twenty first century. And um, this is, I don't know, that's very clever. Are they the first garage band you ever played with? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was a, a guy from Wishbone Ash. Really? Yeah. Well, that's the Bushman Ashes is, 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 is doing the guitar there, and, and it's you know, it's oh. it's tasteful. It's it's um, well, it's a whole new audience because now we're getting play on stations that we never got played on before, and, <laughs> and so we have an, another audience, and it's, it's kind of interesting. And it's got a little crossover flavor and, to it. And after actually, actually yeah. after you you hear it, and and someone say it's me, everybody gets quiet because well, what do you do with that thing? You know, this show, yeah. check around. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but it's interesting, and, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. thank you guys for, you know, letting the people hear it out there. I appreciate Certainly. It. Oh, thank you for coming in. It was, uh, it's, it's, it's great to have pleasure. you. Great a lot surprise. of fun. Happy birthday, Bubba. Thank you. I would have, I wouldn't have known it was you, but our crack staff, because of the surprise, played the twist 20 minutes before you walked in. Right? <laughs> I see. Because okay. that's always a way to keep the surprise going. Well, that's okay. That's okay. They I think that was that quite uh, cool. The twist is a wonderful Sing song. a legendary fact, song like the yeah. twist performed yeah. by yeah. Of course. the legendary but, Chubby but, Checker. But, but Chubby playing it with Sabra Kedavra. With Sabra Kedavra. Isn't that great? You'll never see that again anywhere. They were good. They were good. Some kind of acid hallucination. You know what that was like? Yeah. Let me tell you, in two weeks, you're going to be a Chubby Checker cover band. Musician Top. 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 Musician Top.
I'm in costume today. You're in what? I'm in costume. Costume today. All right. He looks good, man. Thanks, guys. Thank you. All right. That was fun. Chubby, thank you so much. Thanks for coming. There goes the legendary. Thank you to CW11 for bringing the Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Uh, oh, damn. Sam, uh uh, no, you didn't. You must have again. There he goes. Chubby Checker getting a oh, round of yes. applause from the fans. Oh, it's a rousing up, round right? of applause. Yeah. People really uh, digging the Chubster. Yeah, they are, right? Chubby! Chubby! Listen to the, Chubby. Listen to the chance. No. Lucy. What did Lucy K do? Lucy K had me cry. What did he do? Wait. Chubby was talking about his history. So Louis goes, All right, Ed, happy birthday, Jim, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Chubby's an interesting guy. He Jim, certainly oh, is. Oh, but when he schooled the band, that was, it was awesome. Fun, yeah. Yeah. That, that was pretty the, cool. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you guys picked good. that right up, you know. Hey, you guys easy. picked it up, man. You guys are real deal, hey, man. They're like, No, no, I wanted to stop right there. Bump. Hey, come <laughs> on, baby. Hey, Jimmy, Stop it right there. Yes. I gotta ask Jimmy something. You think uh, Chubby Checker likes the twist? I, I'm just wondering. I don't I, really I, know. I don't know. I, I'm a little confused I, by this I, one. I think uh, I, I, I think Chubby. Uh, he loves it. <laughs> <laughs> his, his hair is like the sponge inside of a stamp thing where you make. <laughs> You know, this thing when you make Oh, a... my God. He's not still here, is he? Oh, God. Oh, I wanted to twist his head. Oh, I wanted to is. practice my putting on his hair. <laughs> it's like a, it like a chia chubby. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, God. Oh. It just was so funny how he oh. just took over, like, where there's Jimmy's birthday, and now yeah. we're all yeah. listening to a slow story. <laughs> One song in a trillion oh, that God. came out in '59. <laughs> like like well, Jimmy gives world. a fuck on his 40th birthday. <laughs> By the end of the, the genesis of the oh, fucking twist. So <laughs> By the end of the story, the chia afro grew another. Fucking afro helmet. <laughs> wow. You need a chin strap with that shit. Fucking chia checkers. Damn. Damn. He was like my. You know what? I got hostile with him because he's like my. My dad. My dad does that. Oh, really? Everybody's yeah. having a good time, and instead of staying on everybody else's frequency and talking, like, he'll just go, you know, and we all go, oh, oh fuck. fuck. <laughs> you, know, this shit, well, you fucking microphone protector head. Or windscreen. It is. I think he's oh, on the microphone. Oh, That's where he got it. He was doing a gig, and they had one of those... Well, let's Chubby bring Chubby Chica in. and had one of the greatest. What? Headments. No, let's not. Let's, let's, bring, he, let's bring Chubby in and see how brave we really are. No, let's not. His Chubby's a legend. He can't. Of I think Chubby likes Chubby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Chubby's yeah. Yeah. But Chubby is fun. He's, he's 64 years old, by the way, doing that 64 shit. 64 years. 64. Yeah, he looks awesome. Well, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. All right, now oh, let's right. really get the jokes going. All right, here's the thing. Chubby. No, the way he was talking about the gig is he's gonna play. He's like, we're playing here and doing the morning show, and then I'm going. To Newark Airport. Yes. I'm like, oh, you're playing in the airport? Gate C4. Get a flight yeah. to Kansas City where I'm going to do a gig. Can I ask a question? Oh. Like, you go and see Chubby Checker. Yeah. How no, many I, songs? No, I, no will, I don't. How many songs ahead. do you <laughs> sit through where you start getting frustrated that he's not yeah. playing the twist? I think <laughs> everyone that is. You'll give him the first, or, or you'll give him one, maybe two Break songs, down. and you're like, well, you get to the fucking twist. No, definitely. He probably, the twist probably oh. goes on for like 12 minutes when he does it. Everybody does a solo. I like to see him doing the twist, and his body's moving, but his hair is staying in one spot <laughs> underneath him. But he so, didn't even write the twist. I thought he wrote it. No, that's it his was thing. Hank Ballard, that's from Jeff. Yeah. Well, Brown's fucking program. Voss, you really got to the meat of the issue. Did you ever meet the Temptations? Shut <laughs> up. because well, I want to talk Shut about up. the other man. No, no, I like what, no, no, You no, no, just I like, like him because he held your arm the whole time. No, I like what Chubby said. A fucking legend in the studio, and we we beat the shit out of him. And what did we? What? Why did we do this to Sabrican down? That was great. What what did they do? Wrong now, that we wasn't that nice of them? Because now they have two things on their resume. Okay, <laughs> that was probably a nice. <laughs> You know that you, you know that's going right on the website though. Performed with Chubby sure. Checker. <laughs> we were taught by Chubby. Chubby Checker. taught them how to play the four, four bar blues as if they didn't know how to do that. By the way, every surprise today has failed miserably. No, no. <laughs> 
every <laughs> surprise got blown. Yeah. Steve, yep. Steve blew the CW11 yesterday. Yes, yeah. we have them coming. Yes. And that ruined it. And then Roland didn't mean to before, but it, uh, at, uh, at K-Rock, he goes, hey, Michael K. Williams overslept. Oh, <laughs> so you knew he was calling. <laughs> but I, 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 I didn't think he was calling in, to be honest with you. And then the twist music, it's a mix. We're the worst. Yeah, we go. We got so, a big and, surprise. And people think the yeah. government knocked down the Twin Towers. <laughs> people can't keep a chubby checker seat. <laughs> 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 oh. That was the big get today, too. Chubby oh, checker. Yes. <laughs> but it was just was funny because, like, that's Jimmy's. I was like, all Jimmy ever wanted on his birthday was, was to chubby. hear the history of fucking the. Twist. The twist. I, I was happy that he came in, in but when they said we got a big guest, oh. and, then, and then I heard the twist. Yeah. And Opie uh. said, "Well, that's our big guest," and I'm like, "I hope fucking Ozzy did a cover on that." <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a girl that wants to come in and give you a little uh, present there. Uh, oh, who's the girl and what's the gift? What uh, job and how much? I don't know, Jimmy. Oh, I don't Margaret. know. I love a good gift. Yeah, Mark or somebody <laughs> said, "Hey, somebody over there." <laughs> Holy Hello, shit. Hello, it's just me. Sorry. Uh -oh. I don't Hi. think I could follow Chubby Who's Checker. Is that Michelle LaFong? No, this is, this is Janine who Hi, used Janine. to... Hello, dear. Hi. Who's lost how many pounds now? Oh, about 177. Wow. Oh, wait. Right. Use Chubby Checkers. You are wow. huge. Uh, and you don't even yeah. Have, thank you. You don't even have wow. the lesions on thank you. you. I do. Oh. Frank the Frowner, th th what is that? That's made out of what? These are figurines that I made for you, Jimmy. There's uh -oh. five of them all together. Let me Frank see. Frank the Jimmy. Frowner looks like an ass. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, Jimmy, can I, I'm not that good. Jimmy. Jimmy, can I see you? No. Jimmy. Oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I have spares. That's never good. So you're gonna stick pins in them, Jimmy. And uh, hey, Steve, where's Steve? I have a question for Steve. 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 The oh, sorry. Steve. Uh, what happened to the other people? What <laughs> God? Microphone. Um, Whatever happened to like? Um, this is the worst birthday I've ever. Uh, oh, dude, it's oh, it's this, is, this is so. There's actually sad. one thing Somebody left. There's just actually did a left. Here to suck okay. the four kids. <laughs> <off>. <laughs> no, it's his birthday. It's sad. <laughs> Two hours sleep for this. <laughs> yeah, I got no sleep. What do you want next, Jimmy? You want another Sabra Cadaver song, and then yeah. we set up your last surprise? What? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is another one. Wait. Yeah. Oh, ten the light. Oh, yeah. You made little ten figurines. We got what are they made out of? Clay. The they make them. Okay, they're made of clay. <laughs> what, is, what other surprises could there That's be? That's creepy. Well, Louis, we got you fishing. We got you fishing, <laughs> we got you fishing chips from the airport in Kansas. <laughs> we know how much hey, you love fishing. Louis, chips. sorry. The, the final surprise is going to be Little Richard. He's going to come in and suck us all <laughs> off. So, uh, it's, it's, it's really cool to be on a radio show that apparently has never met me before. <laughs> 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 Thank God for you. All right, let's get, let's get some Sabra Cadaver on the air. Oh, these uh, are great. Thank wait, you. here's the big plug for those guys. Tomorrow at the Surf Club, oh, 1900 Ocean nice. Avenue. That's nice. Ortley people. Beach, New Jersey. SabraCadaver.com with a bunch of bees, right? You guys do the How double bees. Oh, boy. We can't hear them. We can't hear them. Oh, boy. We still don't have a... 732-793-6625 uh, for tickets to see Sabra oh, well. Cadaver. Hey, how about this one? That's better. All right. Yeah. Oh, great. Okay. So, um, Once again, it's uh, Sabra Cadaver, and then Jimmy's final surprise, and then we'll... 170 pounds. Yeah. She's that unbelievable in a year. Oh, yeah, Janine, she's like a regular at that She's a I fucking, fucking five nice pounds. Pounds. She's she, you're so fucking doable now. It's not even funny. And you don't even have a lot of skin extra. I do. I a lot, really a lot do. of skin extra. A lot of Why skin do you talk extra. like ET? <laughs> We're fucking Yoda. I you don't have Yoda. a lot of skin extra. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at just because your birthday party's bombing, don't take it out on me. Uh, well, you're a big part of that <laughs> fucking. You're the, you're the fucking detonator on the. <laughs> 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 What do you think? You're making this a shindig? Fuck <laughs> oh, <fuck laughs> me! Did you ever fly in a prop plane? <laughs> <laughs> Were you on the plane with Buddy Holly? You know, fucking irrelevant questions. Oh, shit. <laughs> Chubby, do you fly business or first? <laughs> well, well, you know. Do you have to check your hair? <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was, Chubby, that hairy candy dish on your head. Can I eat? <laughs> can I eat a loose cough drop out of it? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking... Worst questions I've ever heard. Oh my god! What does the twist really mean, Chubby? <laughs> Jimmy, uh, I thought wait. Chubby took the black mold from your old apartment and put it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's cool. anger. Sour well, Cadaver, everyone. Chubby as we, well, checkers. By the way, step I, aside for a second. Thank you for so. bringing Chubby in. I appreciate it because originally yeah, I said I said I wanted Elizabeth, and they're like, oh, well, that's we can't get that old queen. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Sour <laughs> <laughs> you get it? No one was buying the whole wife thing in the hospital. Oh right? yeah. It just it uh, sounds like uh, Chubby's wife has been in the hospital for forty some years. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Oh, she's, she's in the hospital. That's where she is. Hey, thoughts, uh, thoughts in prison. Thoughts in prison. This Voss, imaginary uh, wife of his. Fucking Voss, uh, or I should start calling you now, Charlie Rose. I mean, those are, fucking, <laughs> those are really good questions. Uh, Chubby, do you like singing into the microphone or away from it? Well, you know. Chubby, do you like when people clap? To you. You know. To you. Those shit questions. Did asshole. you ever perform with Benny Goodman? <laughs> Yeah. It's going if back. you were at Marvin Gaye's house, but you have jumped in front of the bullet, show me to you. <laughs> <laughs> you're a fucking cunt. And you're the <laughs> but did you ever go to Motown? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> How do they receive you in Israel? <laughs> fucking zilch. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the fucking worst question like, oh. ever. Oh. Would you be starstruck if you met Ali now? <laughs> and him taking credit. For Ali, I bet you Ali learned oh, to fight because yeah. he was like, "Get away from me, faggot!" <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, god. Rich Moss said he looked like Ali from the side. Oh, oh my yeah. god! Obi was like, oh, Obi goes, "Is that Ali's hair?" <laughs> oh, that, <laughs> did you hear the Oh yeah! Did you hear the codependent me? Ah, oh, you kind of look like Ali. <laughs> Just covering up. And, <laughs> trying to cover up because you were embarrassed oh. for. I was embarrassed, but I also, I mean, Voss was getting to the fucking really the tough questions and I was like I wanted to get further into Chubby's yeah. psyche do you put an umbrella up when it rains Chubby <laughs> <laughs> Fucking stopping everybody from talking with your hand up. Oh, I got one, I got one. <laughs> <laughs> Does guitar help a song? Chubby, if you would. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking temptations. You fucking, fucking old lady. <laughs> How old am I? Fucking 68 today? <laughs> Why don't you bring in Regis, too, you fucking cunt? <laughs> you, you just blew the last surprise. Oh, Jeez. oh God. damn. Was it, was it, Regis? it was going to be Art Linklater and uh, Regis were going to come in. Art Linklater. By the way, we, uh, we, we, we strong armed okay. his, uh, his handler there. That cunt. Oh, that cunt. He's like, you got $10,000 for the twist. I go, well, you've got five for us to play the new record, motherfucker. Let's yeah, just yeah. bring... We got that done. Let's just bring Maury Amsterdam in now. Maury. <laughs> More <laughs> Saul. More <laughs> Saul. So if you were going to work with the Gavin comedian, Soupy Sales, do you like him or not, Chubby? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. If we're among, you're among friends, Chubby. Chubby. Oh, oh, God. Oh, that's funny. Ruth Gordon's clit is going to come rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys got Brett Michaels? Who? No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> what are you whispering, Steve? Who's, oh, who's the oh, first? Brett, Brett Summers. Oh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> almost. She's dead. <laughs> that's, oops. Oh, can I take a break first? Do you, or that's you, a girl? That's a girl. Brett Michaels. No. Oh, no. Is, is this Let's on? take a break, do the rest of the show, come back and leave. <laughs> yes. Cyber Cadaver's going to play. Let's go to commercial so nobody can hear them. <laughs> I arranged for Chubby Checker. Let's get Sabbath. And I wrote out Rich's questions. <laughs> Let's get Sabra Cadabra, another song from Sabra Cadabra. Yes, as we uh, It's Jimmy's birthday, everyone. Yeah, Jimmy's birthday. Oh, yeah. Sabra Cadabra, take it away. Sabra Cadabra, War Pigs. I know that one, Jimmy. Fucking love that fucking song. Sabracadabra.com. In the middle of that, uh, Louis jumps up and goes, Fuck! <laughs> so I go, Louis, what the hell's wrong with you? He goes, I'm having such a good time, I forgot that I have to fly right now. <laughs> oh, oh, no. I'm going to Nashville. I've got a 1255 fly, I'm an idiot. I just scared the fuck out of me. Usually we get out of here at 11, and I was just sitting here dozing. Yeah. It was and, then I, and it just hit me all in. Oh, fuck! <laughs> What the fuck? I can't sit here. <laughs> we got two shows tonight in fucking Nashville, and this is the only flight to go. Yeah, zany. So get the fuck what out of here. What airport are you going to go to? I'm going to walk to Newark. I got to piss Ah, oh, Newark. Oh. Yeah, we're going to go to break. But uh, right. guys, let's hear it from Louis C.K. Thank you. Nashville. And of course, Sabra Cadabra. Nashville. We're going to uh, wrap this up next. Stay right there.
Hi, I'm Brian Wilson. How are you? I'm fine. Happy Jimmy Day to little Jimmy the Joke Man Motling. I I invented Monster Rain. Tell him, Fred. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and germs. It's Norton and friends, and yeah. today I uh, I have my good friends, uh, of course, uh, Tony and of course Gregorio, and uh, uh, you know, of course, the toughest uh, toughest interview in the business uh, since Tim Russert died. We have Rich Voss, <laughs> yeah, no wow. shit, taking over with the questions and uh, Sabra Kadabra playing, and uh, and Godfrey, of course, my friend, who's a comedian, <laughs> and Steve, um, <laughs> who is just trying to find a way to further spoil this day. <laughs> I'm kidding, oh God, Jesus. Okay, I'm teasing, of course. And by the way, uh, if you want to keep in touch with me on a cell phone, I really do have one. I'm going to give out this number. I listen to uh, these messages, and I, I uh, respond to some of them. 917-267-2602. I'm not making any money from this, and you're not going to get fucking spammed or any of that shit. I promise you. Yeah, and by the way, I got a message from Bob Kelly. Uh, this is honest to God what he said. I'm fat. No, he didn't need to. Uh, he, he goes, he goes, happy birthday, Jimmy. And I wrote, uh, thanks, love. Omar just called. And his next line was, fuck chubby. <laughs> and I wrote back, that's what we say about you. <laughs> <laughs> See, you didn't think I was going anywhere with that. Wasn't chubby check a marvelous that we had him in? He was just marvelous. Marvelous. All right. All right, uh, what are we doing next? Uh, I guess we have... Someone's uh, cutting me a motherfucking piece of birthday cake. Well, let's get the motherfucking birthday cake in here. We got our third birthday cake of the day for Jim and Norton. young Danny is going to have some... All right. Uh, Steve, what Holy do we got? Shit, what is this? Oh, this is Brett Michaels. This is... <laughs> this is Amy. She's from the Penthouse Executive Club. Oh, hi, Amy. Amy from the Pen hi, Penthouse Club. Take Very nice. Take a picture of that. Oh, it's a monster. Cake. That's really nice. Thank you, That's Amy. Right it's Jimmy's uh, book oh, cover on the book cake. cover on the cake. The HBO cover. I don't know what the fuck you're confusing you with the book cover for. Oh. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, I, I didn't you. see it from here. No, I'm teaching. Oh, it's the Monster okay. Rain DVD it's all uh, taped cover. on there. I'm sorry. Um, I'm kidding. What, what, uh, what is the, uh, what flavor cake is that? I, well, I haven't, I haven't dug in there yet. Jimmy. Let's dig in. Oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> Do we have a knife or some plates? Oh, guys, this is sinfully good. Can you like? Uh, can you rub your boobies in the icing? I could, you know, I mean, Chubby Checker is a hard act to follow, but he I was kind of hoping that you were a fan of boobies. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I, Are I you like, a fan of boobies? I really do like yeah, breasts. Okay. Let's let's squeeze the boobies <laughs> in the cake. Your hat would have made more realistic hair on them. <laughs> Wow. Oh, boy, she's a well, good one. Hey, look at this. Wow, you got oh, nice, full bosoms. Music. How about some music? Do you guys play any, yeah, like, uh... Sabra Cadaver, can you do a little something? In a, a little, awesome. little... How about taps? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have any cake uh, cutting? Uh, your fucking cock is on my elbow. What <laughs> 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 oh, fuck you doing? Fuck it all. I thought, no, no, is no, that what you wanted? Uh, but, well, it's just a clusterfuck. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry. Cadabra. We just yeah, it was we a, a miscue. We're, no, we're running out of time. That's all. We're running out of time. Oh, the computer. The computer will cut us off. At least the boobies. Uh, well, what a, a booby cake or what? Booby cake. Uh, um, booby, booby. Is the cake good? Booby cake. Booby. It's edible. What, what's that? Uh, very nice lap dance, by the way. What's your name? Amy. Amy. Yeah. Amy doing the lap dance uh, with Jimmy. I noticed you kept the pants on. Yeah. Is you someone know, on well, their period? The, the, they're kind of hard to get off over the Texas boots. <laughs> you could have pulled them down a little. Is it that time of month for somebody? <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Just put some more icing on the cake, that's all. As they say in London, the painters have arrived. Are we talking low tide today? <laughs> low tide. <laughs> Amy Campbell at Penthouse. Uh, variations, Cat 09's Fetish Gala. This, well, I don't know what this plug means. I'm really sorry. What, what are we plugging it's today, a there, Amy? Party. Fetish party. We have a fetish party, party on Sunday night. Very what does cool. that mean? Can like a... It means you can come and give me a nice foot massage if you'd like. <laughs> That's your party? You just have people come over to the house and do yes. shit to you? Nice. No, it's the cutting room. It's the cutting room, and uh, it's just a fetish party. Okay. You know. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, how much does it cost to get in? Uh, I think $20. That's it for a fetish party? free fetish. To get in? Oh, the club. Oh, the, the oh, fetish party is 20 bucks. <laughs> 
Oh, and thank you to Travis and Lisa. They gave me a very nice card and a little iTunes gift card. Well, that, guys. that dumb dog is here, too. I know. <laughs> That dumb, Thanks, stupid guys. dog. Thank you, you very much. Amy, thank you so much. Attractive. Very yes. lovely gal. Excellent. Yes. All Rich right. Bye, Amy. Rich Be nice. Nice. Com. And don't think I'm not going to do a quick birthday party summary. Mm. <laughs> Jimmy's getting a ready to summary. do a, a birthday oh, yeah. party summary. What do you guys think? Of, what do you guys think of Amy? <laughs> she can hear her, so I thought she was lovely. Yeah. Lovely. It was odd. She had a pants on. Sex. Oh, that was yeah. yeah it was odd. little cowgirl, Catherine Bach type shit. Her nipples were crying. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I thought they were zippers. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Oh, I thought there was candy coming out of them. No. She had nice breath. Rolling. What do you there, think right? of uh, around, the birthday right? celebration? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, rolling. Damn. Damn yeah, she's the celebration. Oh, my God. She's still there, yo. I mean, That's all. Stuff happened. Fuck yeah. Good. Oh shit. <laughs> that takes a lot of nerve to take your clothes off and what bunch, the front fuck a bunch was of that? No, now what takes a lot of nerve is to go, hey Chubby, did you ever work with anybody in Motown? <laughs> <laughs> that takes a lot of nerve. Yeah, Voss. I had some very good questions from Mr. Checker. <laughs> no. It was perhaps oh, the most oh, uninsightful interview I've ever heard. You had a you had a method acting joke that uh, went by everybody that was very very funny actually. Oh, thank you. Uh, you don't His even know CBN what the line was. Do you? was with, uh, uh, what was the line? With uh, Omar said he was uh, stealing something. I go, you're a method actor. Yeah. By the way. All right. This CBS case. He's gone. Could be the worst cake anybody's ever eaten. <laughs> really bad. Hey, wait. Where's the dancer? It's she, fucking she left, gone. she left, she left. She just Why did she leave? Was she crying? With the cowboy hat? No, she wasn't she crying. Was crying. Why would she He cry? said her titties were crying. Yes. Did her titties oh, go to a car windshield? bad then. Huh? Oh, Listen. Man. But Rich, you were making those faces, though. Oh, yeah. That fucking birthday cake, I want to take it back to CBS <laughs> and mush it on the rug. <laughs> the ice cream cake was fantastic. That was from what? Who's that from? That's, what, that's the CBS cake? Yeah, it had it had nice strawberries and as on top. usual. Chocolate covered strawberries. CBS does not come with the best products. All right, this uh, <laughs> now we'll try the penthouse cake. Yeah, the penthouse cake. Give that a try. Give it a little, just a little yeah. sliver, a little something to treat myself. You know, nothing too much. Got to watch the calories. <laughs> uh, we're winding down this birthday extravaganza. It's all about portions, sir. Eat this part. We'll put a glory hole in front of it. <laughs> That was hurtful, Rich. Yeah, there's no reason to blow up my not candle on, and make yours shine bright. Yeah, <laughs> not on his birthday. What are you doing? Mm. Hey, who wants a Chubby Checker CD? <laughs> I took it. I haven't signed it. Break down the wall! Ugh. I saw the autograph at the Didn't last Reagan second. Didn't Reagan do that bit already? What? Break down the wall. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> they, they don't miss anything out there. Shut up, you fucking jobless. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> we're we're running out of show. They're going to shut us off in less than five minutes here, so now we need the big... Uh... They should have three hours ago. Well, yeah. This was but... fun. Really. Shut up. Of course it was fun. I'm kidding. <laughs> Trying to interject some humor. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. By the way, oh, I, it was so uncomfortable when you asked if he took Ollie's hair. I know. <laughs> oh. But I, I really had to say the balls, like... I can't do what it. Is that? You can't do what? I have. I could never ask that question. I wish I could. It was funny. I can't do it. No. I'm a coward. Why? It was. And then, hey, Chubby, is that your real hair? <laughs> and then no. he goes. He goes no. And then you asked him. You asked him again. Yeah, because I didn't hear him say no. no I I wanted yeah, to because sure. he, I think he wanted to keep it on the QT. <laughs> yeah. That he looks like a Q-tip. <laughs> 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 Damn it! Oh, I have a piece of that cake too. Have some cake, Rich. If they can't afford bread, eat the. I fucked up. Oh, oh, Jimmy, where do we start? We gotta do the big wrap up. You wanted to kind of give some of your observations from today. Well, I mean, summary. What, what you want to start with that? What do you say about this? Uh, this bash to end all bashes, simply because nobody will ever attend a bash again. <laughs> Not the. See. I think this ends birthday uh, birthday shows. This should end birthday celebrations, yeah. period. Yeah. Thank God. But I, I will say, Sabracadabra, you guys kicked ass as always. Yeah! Um, yeah. Sabra. Thank you. Sabra Sorry the microphone didn't work. Why would they, though? No, why would, of course they wouldn't. Why would they? And uh, thank you to the studio audience for coming in and yeah. just being you and giving me your gifts. And thank you for Danny. Thank you. Just carrying cake. 
Well, I, I might have something else for you, Jim. Oh. Uh, there's a listener uh, in the front row, a female listener, who would be willing to get into bra panties for a piece of cake. Oh. Wow. Do that? All right. That's exactly what our listeners are about. Sure. So it's not the birthday. It's like, can I have some cake? I'll show you my cunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's the who's the lady who wants to get into a bra and panties? Oh, let's do this. Get in here, get some cake. Let's do this. Hell yeah. All right. Boy, that's so real. That's how we're done. We have dessert at home. Bra and panties. We're going to get bra and thank you to Jill Nicolini, of course. The lovely Jill Anthony. Yes, from CW11. Thank you, Jimmy. Happy birthday. Thank you, guys, for... Uh, Thanks for Jill bringing me here. I thought we thank you for bringing Godfrey. Thank you Thank you for bringing... Chubby. Uh, a guy... I listened to, to one of his songs in, in the, in the mid-70s. <laughs> And thank you for playing the cue early and no problem. Fucking disaster. This was, but this was perfect. How about we? Sabra Cadaver playing with Chubby Checker. This was fucking great. Yeah. Thank you guys for everything, of course. And he, don't be he get, fantastic he, Christmas gift. Thank you. My birthday gift. Christmas gift. I fucked up. I, conf I oh, confused wait. myself with Christ. <laughs> yeah. God, am I bombing? Chubby Checker gave you guys a talking to. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. Oh boy, I want to thank you for letting me sit down with the li the young lions. Oh, yeah. Jesus, oh, yeah. easy, yeah. sweetie. Yeah, sweetie. <laughs> Fucking, he's, fucking guy knows one song and he's telling Sabra Cadaver what to do. Yeah, <laughs> what the fuck, man? Son of a bitch. <laughs> How about we Hi. give you two pieces Hi. of cake not to take anything off? What's wrong with you? Oh. Sure. Why? Rich. <laughs> why? Rich. Basically, the problem, Rich. Because she's a nice girl and she shouldn't have to take her clothes Whoa. off no. for a piece of cake. Uh, Ma'am, what Rich was trying to say is he doesn't think <laughs> No, I don't think you have daughter. the body. We're Reminds me of a girl that should be daughter. Dangerous. We're losing the show. And I can't believe you would say that, Anything's Rich. Anything's better than yes, that stripper. Yes, get out of your broad panties and you'll get some Quick. cake. Quickly. Yeah, we're running out of show. Just get the skirt. Wait, Just make her sit down. on the uh, the bad cake to get a piece of the good cake. What? All right. Oh, she got XM uh, panties on. Yeah. Those XM panties. Um, not too sexy. Shirt too? If we have to. Oh, you got little nipple poked out. Nice. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh -huh. Now, uh -huh. now she wants cake. Oh. Yeah. All right. Which one? Have some cake. You want the Jimmy <laughs> Norton? I don't care. Whichever one's better. You want the Jimmy Norton cake? This one's better. It's fine. Get in there and get a piece of cake. Get a lady. good one. Order me a piece of cake. I'm going to burger, fries, like a whole meal. That is the tiniest bra I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is a tiny bra. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, girl. Get that cake, girl. Go on, cut that cake, girl. <laughs> Don't drop that cake, girl. I miss you ruining my party. Gotcha. <laughs> That's right, girl. Got this a nigga pop from party cake. has been nigga ruined. Cake, baby. <laughs> since six o'clock. Cut the cake. It's a cut the cake. Either, either way, less cake, more vegetables. Um, cut the cake. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the cake. Well, that's right, girl. Get naked for that cake, baby. Yeah, I'm 40. Baby. Yep. Oh. Congrats. Yeah. yeah. Eat that cake, baby. <sighs> this is my party. Eat that and cake, this, is, baby. this is the tribute Trouble you were paid. Party stunk. Party cake, baby. Wow. Eat that fucking cake, girl. Eat that fucking cake, girl. RFK. RFK. Oh, take a picture, okay? Sam 202.